<laughs> you gotta unmute us. <laughs> Oh, okay. So we're all good, but you're on mute. Maybe just keep it that way. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just, yeah. Yeah. All right, am I there? (laughs) Oh, I'm there. I'm there. There we go. Jeez. Hey, it's not, it's not, it's not man talk without problems. We're here. Hello. (laughs) (laughs) There we go, guys. How is everyone? How is everyone? It wouldn't be an episode of man talk if there weren't some kind of production er 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 errors. It's always, it's always me. Oh dear. <laughs> Head of IT. That's it. That's it. All right. To Jerd, the cause and solution of all of our problems. That is exactly it. He does all the hard work and then like when anything goes wrong, we're like fucking Jerd. And now just like get, get it together, mate. <laughs> now I've completely lost my screens. Anyway, you boys chat amongst yourselves. What have we been up to, boys? How are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Well, everyone, I will just say this from right from the beginning. Stick around because we are doing giveaways tonight. That's giveaway with an S, people. So stick around. It's going to be more of an instant kind of win thing because we've got a special new feature joining us tonight on the Man Talk. So I don't know why I added the the in front of it, but anyway. I tried to get a special guest tonight, but he couldn't make it. So it's just us. Sorry, guys. I let you all down. Sorry, I man. hate to tell you, man. Santa Claus isn't real, bro. We can't. Uh, oh, spoiler I, alert! Jesus! Well, yeah, <laughs> just dropping bombshells. I mean, for any any like families that are sitting gathered around the iPad watching us chat, that's that was a joke, guys. Oh, Santa is a hundred percent real. Hundred percent real. Dropping bombshells. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> All right. Yeah. What so, have you guys? How's, been- how's your week going? Oh, okay. <laughs> You go first, Ash. You uh, you did some content this week. What's been happening with you, man? Oh well, you know, just the usual uh, stuff on my you know daily weight loss vlog is you know I had a weigh in, had a pretty good one at that. Lost a kilo this week, so I'm up to just over 41 kilos worth of loss since uh, starting in January. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, just uh, enjoying life, uh, keeping family at home during this whole uh, pandemic kind of stuff, but. Uh, yeah, just working on a few projects. But Which one, uh, who of us here are working in Melbourne at the moment, or living working in Melbourne? Uh, I'm in I'm in Victoria. I'm in yeah. just uh, country Victoria, but yeah, back <laughs> to the lockdown. Oh, yeah, five times. What a terrible oh, yeah. thing that is, eh? I would like. I just would like to take a second to say, um, that you know, like our thoughts and 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 well wishes go out to everyone in in Victoria at the moment, especially those living in the in the city in Melbourne. Uh, in the metropolitan area, like the next six weeks is going to be pretty hard uh, for a lot of people. So, you know, like make sure that if you have friends that live in Melbourne or if you, you know, even if you're not in the same state, if you just know people in Victoria, um, reach out to them, make sure they're doing okay. Uh, and yeah, just uh, make sure that, you know, you're just being kind to your fellow people because it's a pretty fucking stressful time at the moment. The last thing we need is people going at each other's throats. So I think, I think we could all uh, all learn to just chill out a bit lately yeah that is it exactly right exactly yeah. right so hey everybody out there in the chat dan williams mark buckleson jade grice benny cox dale smith al peck travis hall there's so many of you gary g in the house shane beasley kelly jerd i know that last name jerd oh, i've uh, never there's so many people never met her before in my crazy life cat lady that is crazy <laughs> cat lady that's her. the promo clip is better than the production of this show that guy's not winning anything oh <laughs> <laughs> how rude uh, I got one guess. Oh, was that Gary? It sounds like Gary thing. Was that Gary? Uh, anyway. That is rude. But, um, that was yeah, Jared, cat how's your week going, mate? Never met her before in my oh, life. Cat lady? Jesus. That is crazy <laughs> cat lady. Oh, Jesus. Don't worry. Don't mind me. I'm having an absolute mare back here. All right, we're good. What's that? Are you all right? Oh, uh, okay? just, yeah, just behind the scenes. Don't worry, boys. We're good. <laughs> Now, um, <laughs> his monitors are off at the moment, guys. He's, he's really like just. <laughs> Do you want to just leave or show yourself out or something? I think, I think we're Can okay. Can we just replace you with like a picture of you or something oh. like that? So, someone. <laughs> someone comment in chat so I can see if I'm fixed it, please. <laughs> Anybody out there? Hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, uh, geez, I mean, wait, I, could, I could pretend to be Jerd. Like, oh, hey, guys, you can check out my YouTube. Or you can have a look at Twitch, or you can look at the rubbish jersey I'm wearing. Like, <laughs> come on, you gunners, we got there. <laughs> Stephen Singh, hey, we got there. Stephen hey, Singh, this, you're here on uh, Twords, uh, Jerd's Twitch. Twords. And, uh, tonight we're playing Twords. Twords. We're playing some survivalist game where uh, 
We need to craft stuff out of other Actually, stuff. Actually, that was a lot of fun. Stuff. That was a lot of fun, Jed. I had a great <laughs> that time was playing fun. Uh, Grounded with you. That was great. How good was it? Honey, honey I shrunk the kids the video game, That's exactly. Essentially. It was amazing. Great time. Absolutely. That we had a ball. We should have had some clips for tonight's episode to show off how funny we are. We should have. But we should have. Why didn't we think of that? Funny looking. Jeez. Yeah, funny <laughs> oh. looking. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. What are you uh, up to? John Lloyd, tell us about your week so far. Uh, this week has uh, been pretty hectic. Obviously, we're going into lockdown again. So, um, had to let our staff go again until things ease up. Oh, shit, that sucks. Which always sucks. But anyway, uh, doing the whole takeaway thing as of uh, Wednesday night. And yeah, just getting the business all prepared to do all that stuff again. Um, other than that, just uh, hanging out with my boy. I've been doing a few few videos for you boys, and yes, uh, you've been so busy, Lloyd. I have a uh, bang hey, in you. I have a bang <laughs> in intro to start my Twitch stream now, thanks to Lloyd. Like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Lloyd, someone yeah, even came in. And the first time I demoed it, someone came in and they were like, "That's a banger," and I was like, "Oh." Is that millennial? Is that a compliment from a millennial? Like how? Like <laughs> <laughs> absolute banger. So absolute good. banger. Mm. So yeah, good. so no, that's been a lot of fun. I've uh, I've enjoyed doing that for you boys, and uh, yeah, other than that, the week's been pretty quiet. Spent a bit of bit of time with my boy today, and yeah, that's, that's it. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. That's so good. And so, um, Lloyd, when are you going to start your own freelance business coming up with uh, video intros and logos? Because you made this oh. logo; it's absolutely smashing. He's made the lo- the intro for my channel, the intro for Tim's. Intro for Jersey. He's done intros every single day of the week. So if, if you guys need <laughs> intros, hit up Lloyd. But uh, he'll charge you for it. Yeah. <laughs> hit him up. Hit him when up. You, when are you getting on Fiverr? When are you getting on Fiverr? <laughs> Maybe one day. No, I've always I've always had an interest in uh, being creative Video in the way of videos shows. and and uh, things like that. So yeah. Mm. Well, tonight, guys, uh, we I guess I'll uh, give us a bit of insight to what we're doing. So uh, we are going to be doing a couple of giveaways, uh, and it's going to be like all on the spot kind of stuff. You have all sorts of prizes to win, so stick around for that. The more people that you invite to this chat, the more chances you have to win. But uh, we're also going to be doing uh, something that has been talked about a few times on Man Talk and on my channel and everything. We're actually going to make a Zinger Burger shake tonight, and it's all going to be live for your Spew emojis. Really pleasure. Spew emojis in the chat, please. Spew emojis <laughs> yeah. in the chat. Yeah, so um, that is going to be a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you uh, stick around for that, I don't know when we're going to do that. We'll just figure out a time <laughs> to do it. Um, but, Jared, have we still got you here, mate? Yeah, I'm here. I'm. Uh, are you in, in chat? Can people comment? Is Ash's... Voice in sync with his face. <laughs> Tim, no, Tim, you talk. Talk for me. Uh, hello. Talk, hello, talk, hello, talk hello. dirty to me. Okay. Uh, All right. Pie and chips, gravy. Okay. What about you, Ash? Talk now. I like a doer da cha cha. Okay. What about you, Lloyd? Yo, 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 one, two, three. Testicles, okay. testicles. Chat, let us one, two, three. Chat, let us know if they're out of sync. I think Lloyd and Ash might be a little bit out of sync. Let me know, and I'll serve them and fiddle with it. Anyway, that's it. That's it. Technical talk. It's a right. it's a burning dumpster stop, fire. Stop fiddling and start talking. This isn't oh man fiddle. This I is have, man talk. I haven't been working. Like I just refreshed the the thing, and the chat just updated, and it went from twenty two comments to one hundred and six. I cannot see chat. Chat, <laughs> if, if you're out there, chat, I cannot see any comments. I'm sorry. I love you all. I can't see anything. Sorry. That's it. Yeah, everyone's saying it's all good. They're saying that it's all in sync and, okay. uh, you know, bye, 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 bye. I need to catch up. I need to catch up with I'm comments. so far behind. It's, yeah, sorry, Chad, I'm not ignoring you. I just can't see you. Anyway. Cool. How is everyone tonight, though? How is everyone doing? How are Post what you've been doing this week in the chat. Read us your stories. We want to know about your lives. We've, this is the Everyday Normal show with Everyday Normal Dudes, and we want to hear all about, you know, what you've been doing on your Everyday Normal weeks. So... Spam those comments. Spam it. Yeah. Tell us your weight loss journey. Yes. Tell us, tell us tell us your current weight, what your goal is. Yeah. Just tell us. Let us know. We want to know about your lives. Enough about ours. 
keen to also hear some questions. Like if you have any questions, queries, dramas, issues, or if you need any advice, or if you need a virtual slap, just put it down in the questions or the comments a, below. And... A man shake sofa stream. Oh, like casting couch. Ooh. 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 That could be dangerous. Mm. Okay. So what are we talking to, to about tonight, guys? Um, like, I think we're... Uh... <laughs> wow, <what's laughs> <laughs> Question. S steer away from All that right. one. What are we talking about uh, tonight? Let me let me try and rein in my nervousness and, and just confusion over here. Uh, we're talking about this. Bang. Let me hit the right one. Boom. There we go. That's it. Grown up fat. I'm assuming... Ladies and gentlemen, if you have grown up fat, put a hashtag yes in the, the chat below because... Not everyone grows up fat. A lot of people do, but um, I have. And if you have, let us know. Yeah. So um, I grew up uh, fat, obviously. Um, and it's been, weight's been a long life struggle for me. I've always struggled with weight. Uh, I remember being in primary school and people calling me, for some reason, tugboat. I have no idea. And there's nothing dodgy. But I have no idea. They called me tugboat for some reason in primary school because I was just such a unit. I don't know. But my last my last name is Pink, man. Can you imagine what I fucking got? Like Ooh. at school, pink bits, pinkabell, pinky in the brain, one in the pink, one in the you know, like Whoa. just it's yeah. That's a good like, turn. Kids are just mean. Absolutely mean. Tim, I got you beat. I was fat, but I also had a girl's name. Yeah. <laughs> So no matter what, people will just be like, hey, Ashley, do they make that name for men or you uh, fat piece of crap? Yeah, like they, or you, yeah, just, uh, I, I at all angles. Ashley's. Kids are just horrible. Why am I not getting these live comments? I'm this not getting live comments either. I can't see it. Must be, it must be I'm something kidding. to do with, uh, it must be something to do with Facebook tonight. Maybe it's. I can't see it. Nothing's well, updating. I can see them all. We're getting a lot uh, of yeses. Like, a, yeah. You know, Dean. Dean Fields, Mark Thomas, Jay Grice, Hamish Coy, Ryan Betson, Jared McCohen, Al Peck, Jesse Muratoski. Man, there's a lot of yeses there. So it looks like See, we've all kind of grown up fat. I was I was very lucky. I went through a stage when I was probably between year three and year seven where I was like I was larger. But then I sort of because I shut up in height. I went from like five foot nothing to six foot, uh, six foot two, six foot three. Um, as, and I and that stage of my life, I. I like sort of, you know, it bounced out. But then after I finished school and got a full time job and stuff like that, that's when I really packed on the weight. And it's just, it was gradual over about 10 years. I put a stack on. Um, but yeah, like I, I, in that respect, I was pretty lucky because I can imagine that if I'd been like really large through my, my high school, my high school period and through, like I would have been destroyed, absolutely destroyed. Mm. Mm. Well, it's tough. That's lucky for you, mate. Lucky for you. It's um. Oh, very. Yeah, I, I, do, yeah I do count myself very lucky for that. Mm. Well, like I um spoke about it in my live stream the other night. Um, I grew up a you know the fat kid, and uh, I was often described as the solid one. You know, at family outings and solid well, one. at family events. Yeah, solid one. Like, That's look, great. My mom, my mom didn't want to say to our long lost aunt, "It's the fat one there, you know, that can't it barely run." She was just like, "Oh, it's the solid one," you know, and that kind of stuff just stuck with me. And uh, yeah, like, like I seriously, and I spoke about it in my last year. I have a phobia. Like I legit get the like the sweats, the sweaty hands, everything like that when I go clothes shopping, just from experiences as a child. Like uh, you know, trying to be you know squished into smaller clothes. I don't, I don't know for what reason. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> there he is. Beautiful. Look at that bowl cut. Isn't that a 90s thing? Um, <laughs> That's very good. I will, I will find a picture for you, Jed. I, I, yeah, I'll see if I, what I can do. Like, Yeah, I'll, I've got one here. This is from when I was 15. Um, and it's with me and my four best mates. Um, I'll send it to you by messenger. Oh, no, nothing will go you wrong can... here, chat. Nothing will go wrong at all. <laughs> You can see that I have like a bit of weight there, like in, in the yeah. face and everything like that. Cause I was always just like holding a bit of fat and like, even though I was really active and like going out and on the bike every afternoon and such, uh, it just, it just kept on me and I'm five foot 10, five eleven on a good day. So, um, I, I didn't really thin out when I kind of grew up, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's always been a problem with me and, um, I've never been like Actually, noticeably no. skinny. I've always been noticeably FAT. 
that that picture I seen, I would have been sixteen there. Sorry. Okay. Mm. Are, did, are your yeah. friends gonna mind being in a picture? No, they, they won't care. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let me. Uh, let me just while he's getting that up. Quick shout out to Ryan. Lost twenty two kilos during lockdown. Congratulations, mate. Oh, that's that's amazing. Fantastic. Well done. Well done. You've gave it all to me, bastard. Ja- Jamie Evans says he's down five point one kilos. Awesome. Al Peck did ten and a half thousand steps today. Oh, killing it. Look at all these messages. Yeah, but I can't see. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, I mean, was... There we go. We got it. We're on. Oh, you don't look that big there, mate. Yeah, see, I, that, that, I was pretty much like, that was from year sort of seven onwards, I, feel, I, I really, like, I shot up in height. So, yeah, I... I was lucky enough. Like I look back on that and go, I, like I used to think I was still fat back then, but then I look at that photo and I go, fuck, I really wasn't like, I was just being hard on myself. Um, and yeah, like I, uh, when, like I, and when I look back on it now, I did, I did have a pretty easy time. So in that respect, I didn't get teased for being overweight when I was school. So at school, so. Yeah. I, Is that I, right, Pinky? I can't really relate, unfortunately, but. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Tim, your last name might be Pink. My last name is Jerd. So my name is Matt Jerd. What do you think I got? Matt Jerd, fat turd. I'll tell you. The ki- <laughs> kids <laughs> are... I didn't even think of that. Kids are, That's gonna and stick. my sister is Kelly Jerd. So <laughs> she got clever. smelly turd. So like kids... <laughs> kids. Hey, look at you laughing. You're the part of the problem. <laughs> Be part of the solution. <laughs> Uh, oh, I wish Kelly. I, just I find it sorry, funny. Kelly. I wish yeah, sorry. I wish I could see comments. I tell you, because yeah, it was tough growing up. But was I? In good, someone said, "Was I in Good Charlotte?" I went and saw Good Charlotte once live in concert, and it was the worst <laughs> thing I've ever had to go to. It looks. I just. It looks very Good Charlotte, you, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. 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 You actually wouldn't be out of place in Good Charlotte. Or, or Smash Mouth for that matter. I don't know whether I should fight you. <laughs> 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 Someone said 30,500 steps today. Fuck yeah. That's insane. That's huge. 30,000? 13,000. Oh, my God. That's like 30,000. Jeez. I think I, well, I think I walked <laughs> to the fridge like maybe once today. Ian no. Smith says, I was 126 now down to 120 in four weeks. Congratulations, mate. That's oh, absolutely that's fantastic. And uh Jared McCohen, I'm down 23 kilos in 10 weeks. A long way to go. Uh, ready, already feeling better. Still have 100 kilos to lose. Wow, Jared, Jazza. It's, uh, killing it, Jazza. Mate, the great Jazza. news is that you're looking, you're happy. The here and now, you're absolutely smashing it, and you're not fo- solely focused on that long shot goal. So take every win that you can get, mate, because you're absolutely killing it. 23 kilos, that's brilliant. All right, I found one. I found one of me. Um, so, so on the left. I got to get rid of that login Instagram. On the left, uh, that would be year ten formal, where I took my lovely wife, <laughs> my now wife, um, and I had the Mickey Mouse bow tie. Oh, what a is, so I didn't even notice the bow tie. So bow tie. that it's is really oh, shit. It's like you haven't aged at all. So that is, I I think I'm hitting. I I joke it all the time, but I think I'm hitting peak peak uh, fitness now. Like that was. Let me close. Can I? There we go. Perfect. Uh, yes, that was year 10, 1998. Um, and I'm smaller now than I was in year 10 in a, an adult yeah. body. I'm yeah. just going to put some ages on that. First picture? Uh, 1998. 20. First, sorry, go. Sorry. First picture, you look like you're, you're in your late 20s. The middle picture, you look like you're 40 to 50. And now, right now, you kind of look like you've just uh, shot back in time. Yeah, mid, yeah. Mid- yeah mate. Mid- are you Benjamin Button? <laughs> <laughs> Are you? I'll take I'll take Brad Pitt. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Have um, we found him? Have we found the real life Benjamin Button? Actually, Manshake, uh, the lovely people at Manshake, put that up. They wish me a happy birthday, and they said like a like a fine wine, Jerz just ages gracefully, and it's true. I've I've peaked. I've hit. I've I peaked. But that was ninety eight. That was uh, the start of last year so 2019 and that was a couple of months ago so it's just crazy you can just see like how big i was in year 10 and that's i've always been big and november i'm shaving the beard and it's going to be the first time ever that i've seen my face not looking like that was in year 10 so it's been 20 years and i'm hoping that i've got an actual chin now and a jaw rather than just being completely 
What if you shave and you full have like the ass crack chin? I've got a bum chin. Have like the, uh, I do have a bum chin. Yeah, I mean, like everyone has me myself and Irene. Yeah. Mm. Oh, not, oh, not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, so that... that put yeah. ass on your face. <laughs> I would just like to say all the comments that are updating now that I can see them on my phone, like all these dudes that are putting in their weight loss... Um, success that they've you know had fucking awesome like bravo congratulations and good on you now go clothes shopping and spoil yourself not don't go because it's the best feeling in the don't world. go too hard with the clothes shopping until you get where you want to be because it's expensive yeah. as shit you know what i mean jude I, 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 I mean. know what you mean go buy yourself something nice all right where's lloyd go here we go here's lloyd ready ready watch this boom oh <laughs> Bam. Now, Lloyd, <laughs> that looks ladies man. that looks like a glamour shot with a soft filter my friend wow oh. That was a glamour shot. He's got a chin. Yeah. Oh my god. It exists. Also had a, a lot better hairline back then too. To the uh wow, how were you fighting the women off with a stick? <laughs> I was, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Turned into a He rose. looks like um he looks like that kid. There was a kid like that went viral uh, at a baseball game because like he knew the camera was. Oh on yeah, was yeah. Hold like, on. Kind of give the give me two, <laughs> give me two seconds. <laughs> Absolutely. That's like, hey, baby, can I take you out to the? Can I take you out to the milk bar and buy you a CD? I, like, that's just. I, I use that. Oh, that's my favorite yeah. gift. Do you come to this toy shop often? <laughs> it's my favorite gift. <laughs> I think it's the. Do you want to ride my red red wagon? <laughs> do you want to go to a discotheque? Like. <laughs> If you're in chat, just do eyebrow, uh, do eyebrows as like a gif, and it'll pop up in chat. You know, you know the kid we're talking about. It'll pop up in chat. <laughs> eyebrows. He does the. That's crazy. That's so good. Yeah, so good. So, were you always yeah. were you always a big kid then, Lloyd? I was. Yeah. Um, from when I was when when I was pretty young. Um, in saying that, I also was a pretty sick kid as well. So I had a bit of an illness. Um, that I got from being, um, I had a swarm of mosquitoes attack me oh, shit. and I ended up getting this, uh, virus that caused me to lose a whole heap of weight every couple of months. Jesus. I just drop all this weight and then just be really sick, end up in hospital and, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, so my weight used to go up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, we also had a bit of trouble in our lives with a few different things. We had a house burned down, um, and we lost everything. Um, I, my parents end up working pretty much the seven days a week all the time just to try and catch up. So I was handballed to my grandparents a lot of the time. And as most grandparents, they've got a cupboard full of delicious things. Mm -hmm. Um, they also <laughs> believe in... Also believe in having breakfast, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, supper, all that jazz. Can we so, so I end up with some pretty bad habits um, growing up. Also, my parents would always give me a uh, money order for lunch. So it'd be yeah. a pie and the big M and... Jungle Chews and oh, uh, Jungle Chews! How good are Jungle Chews just quite. <laughs> yeah. How how good were like a dollar's worth of chocolate buds from the canteen? You got fucking twenty. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. so good. And fizzos, oh. fizzos were like one cent each. You could it's... get a dollar's worth and you'd be chewing on them for the rest yeah. of the day. So you nice. say that, yeah, you say that too. Like I used to have a friend at high school who used to have a chicken burger and a pie every day for lunch, and he literally was the skinniest person I knew. Yeah, I used to, like, I used to do that. Damn, damn you! Ridiculous. There's lots of people out there like that. I used to do that. So, um, so yeah, I ended up with some pretty bad habits and obviously they got worse as I got older and, um, yeah, but, but um, I've been on plenty of diets and things like that over the years, done a heap of different things as probably a lot of you have mm. and, um, yeah, some have worked, some haven't. Here's, but, um, here's the question. Now we've, we've all got kids, so I'll start with my kids. I'm having learned all this over the last year and 18 months. I'm trying my best to make sure that my kids don't grow up being big. Cause I don't want them to have to go through that. And I don't want them to get to 36 and think shit, I need to lose 80 kilos, whatever they have to, whatever I lost. I don't want them to do that. So I try, you try your hardest. I've got three kids and all of them are different. My daughter will eat anything you throw. If you offer her pizza, she'll say, no, I can have veggies. Like she's just like that. My boys are an absolute, part of my French, pain in the ass. They're the fussiest eater. And I think they would be what I was growing up. So 
how do you i don't know how i'm going to even try and navigate that because sometimes you're just happy to get food in your kid's face let alone it being the correct food so what what is everyone's opinion on that how do you how do you go I, I have i have the same problem with henry as well actually like he won't eat anything except like in, for the breakfast, he only wants toast with Vegemite or yogurt. And for lunch, he just wants like a Vegemite sandwich. And then for dinner, I can get him to eat nuggets, sometimes like uh, and spaghetti bolognese and garlic bread. That's the only three things he wants to eat. Mm. If I put vegetables in front of him, he just he just loses it. Mm. And it's like I want him to eat because I want him to be full. But I, you know, like I'm not gonna like I just I don't have the energy to fight with him every night about eating vegetables. So. Mm. Like, I, I guess moderating what, how much he eats is good, but it's just the right type of food. Like, getting him to eat vegetables, getting him to eat protein, stuff like that, it's just difficult. Like, mm. It is very yeah. difficult because there's a lot of, like, um, like shows out there that also <laughs> kind of reinforce the fact, oh, broccoli, yuck, you know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, like, my, my daughter, I have a real complex about it, you know, um, because I grew up being fat and it was always like just this thing that was just like you know plaguing my childhood and my early teen late teens um i i don't want that for my daughter and she's four and we we're pretty good with um, you know giving her a wide variety of food uh, but she's starting to really get super fussy with like you know getting chips and nuggets and all that kind of stuff mm. and she's starting to learn like you know <sighs> learn you know what mcdonald's is and you know what you know guzman gomez is and all that kind of stuff um and yeah we, we, like the good thing is at daycare because they're all eating the food and they're all given like really nutritious kind of food there that's great you know she's getting fills of veggies and all that kind of stuff but you know, my concern is, you know, coming into primary school, what do we do moving forward, you know? And um, if there's any dads or mums out there watching this, if you have any hit, hints, chips, tips and tricks, you know, let us know. Because we all got pretty young ones here. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you, yeah, you say that with the daycare as well. Like, I see the menu. Like, I look at Henry's Kinder Loop all the time and I see what they're feeding him and I'm like, why the fuck won't you eat that at home? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. And yeah. I'm just so, like, it's that teacher-parent oh, thing. Yeah. Like, they'll listen to the teacher because... But parents, like, I don't know how you can be a teacher and a parent, like, because <laughs> it'd just drive you nuts, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, they just... Hen Henry's, like, he wasn't well today. He hasn't been well for the last three weeks, but he wasn't, like, he he threw up this morning. But he, he just randomly dropped two F-bombs at, at home today. Oh. And I was just like, what is going on? Like, where, where are you learning this from? And I realise he's probably overheard me saying it. <laughs> but, yeah. like, just, yeah, like... I'm like, you don't say that at school, do you? And he's like, no, daddy. And I'm like, well, why are you saying it at home? Because like, because you because yeah, like, you're fucking annoying him. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's easily solved. Yeah, he, just, he was sitting in the computer room. And I was I was tinkering with my computer, and he just goes, "Fucking hell!" And I was like, "What? Like, where did you learn that?" Oh, that's funny. Uh, just a quick quick shout out to Hayden Apo. He said he started the shakes four weeks ago. Best decision he's ever made. Feeling so much happier and healthier. Have lost six kilos so far. Still a long way to go, but thanks for being absolute legends. Get in, well, I hate to break Get it to you, in. mate, but you are the legend. Get in. Keep it up. Doing a fantastic job. I just have to step away for a second. You're good, mate. Go mm. for it. We'll talk about it behind your back. It's fine. His headphones are off. Who's that, Tim? Now that he's gone. Fucking hell. <laughs> I tell you what, I I, we, I popped into Tim's um, Twitch the other night. He was playing Grounded with the one and only, if you're a gamer out there, Skill Up. And I thought, who is this Who is this Tim that we know, our friend, playing games with Skill Up, a very famous game reviewer? I was like, whoa, this guy knows his stuff. I was, I was very impressed. Let's not say that to his face, though, but I was. Very interesting. Just while he's gone. So if he ever watches the replay, which he won't, he will never no, hear that comment. No, he won't hear that. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah. letting you know, too, I'm letting you behind the scenes too early, uh, Ash. Um, I've got to hit record for the first 15 minutes, mate. So we'll see how that goes, buddy. Just letting you know, chat. Me and Ash could have problems this week with our VODs, but you, I'm hoping we can you just... You can pull the file, can't oh, you? We, anyway, anyway. We'll we can pull the file. We'll we, have, we have a means. We have the technology. Maybe. Oh, Jesus. That's an app. Jesus. You have Christ no idea. You have no idea at the start of this. I love how now Tim's gone. We're pretending the show's not going on and we're just chatting, even though there's a chat there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like Tim's the uh, one person. Now Tim's gone. Um, yeah, I was absolutely sweating balls at the start. I'm not going to lie. I still can't see chat, but I love oh, your chat. We could, we, we could see it. But mm. um, 
Look, just a, just a, it seems like a good time to remind everyone. Everyone, we are doing a couple of giveaways tonight. I'm saying giveaways with an S, people, because there's more than one. Uh, you can win a wide variety of prizes from like a stubby cooler and a hat to the ultimate weight loss pack from the Manchek website. Here we go. Uh, and it's all kind of like instant stuff. So none of this like guess a number and then wait around to the end to find out whether you won. No, 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 no. It's going to be like... Here we go. I've got it here, Ash. Ready? Are we ready for this? Okay, you guys won't hear it, but they will. Ready? Let's, let's look at this. Ready? Look at this. Lloyd did this. Welcome to the man shake wheel of Who is? fortune. Absolute genius, Lloyd. <laughs> That's it. So, yeah, we've got the man shake wheel of fortune tonight. So, uh, that will be coming up soon. Uh, we'll do the first draw. And uh, we're also going to be making a Zinger Burger shake live. Yep. So, that is uh, actually happening. Actually, happened. so why tell us about that now? Why are we doing the Zinger Burger, Ash? Who came up with this broad idea? It wasn't me, it was oh, Jade Grice. I'm pretty sure it was Jade Grice. And, um, that, and didn't we just peer pressure the shit out of you after we saw after that came out? Yeah. That's how we usually get shit done on this show just peer pressure. <laughs> Go on, do it, yeah. do it. Go on, it was, I was very much impressed there, but look, um. It's no secret, like on my my YouTube channel, which is that fat guy, right? You know, down below, oh, right? Um, anyway, plug Central, yeah. Jesus! Plug. Just shut just up, just Jared, keep plugging up. everything, mate. Oh, Jared, oh. Jared, mate, just, funny. Stay late, stay 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 late. Fucking plug Central, Lloyd. Get that picture of him, the the, the bunny. Yeah, send it to me. <laughs> send it to me, Lloyd. I'll put it up. <laughs> him, but, but, um, I wanted to do something, but I did it ran out of time. It, it, it's no secret on my blog, like since I started my weight loss journey, I'm a big advocate for celebration meals. Uh, and some people may know them as cheat meals. I call them celebration meals because I'm celebrating the fact that I've gone all week, I've kicked ass, I've lost weight. I'm going to celebrate that with a meal. And it's actually proven to uh, help you know, promote your weight loss uh, rather than a full diet deprivation. When I first started the journey, I was having things like, you know, like a great big Asian bowl of rice noodles and pork <laughs> dumplings. But then COVID hit and I was like, well, I need to find something else. And the only restaurants that were open were things like KFC, McDonald's and all that. So I decided I'm going to start having KFC, which I thought was like would be like a gateway drug for me. Like I might, you know, start that and then just, you know, snowball out of control. But every week since uh, probably about oh, maybe three, four months ago, I've had KFC a big zinger box, and I've lost weight. Uh, so much so that um, uh, Jay Grice made me a seal of approval in the shape of a KSC logo, and uh, then we got pressured to do a zinger burger shake because uh, everything is a shake is healthier, apparently. So. <laughs> <laughs> not factual. <laughs> yes, um, um, yeah, you need that. This is not for true. Do, do not try this yeah. at home. Uh, good news, good news. I see you in chat now, uh, Shane Beasley. The first plug, and it wasn't, and it wasn't me. But I see you, Beasley. I got chat. Here. Oh, we, we're good now. We're good. Relax. I'll He's try back to get the plug, but you just can't see it. Back. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry that we. Sorry that we plugged, and like we have one plug to make up with the five thousand that occurred last time we had one of these uh, episodes. YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Jerdman, Insta. Jared <laughs> underscore man. Here Done. We go. There we go. Here we go. I, I gave you a glowing review when you were gone. When we're not gonna, you're not gonna go back and watch it. But I said I was very in awe. You can't because he wasn't recording. In awe. Yeah, I wasn't what recording. I was in awe of you with your big big friend the other day playing grounded. I was like, holy shit, who is this guy that we know and love playing with skill up? Yeah, playing with Ralph. Great guy. What are the oh, first best name, reviewers? First name basis. Best, yeah, best YouTube reviewers on youtube like he's a absolute master at reviewing video would we games. say he's content second would enough. we say he's the best youtuber of all no no there's better youtubers out there but he's still i was trying to stick i was trying to st i was trying to stick it to ash <laughs> well i mean ash is the master of weight loss videos let's be honest oh that's he's doing well massive. i love his videos i love your videos ash thank you, you lloyd the, you thank do you. an amazing job best thing about, about his videos the brand new intro that lloyd did spectacular and lloyd spectacular oh. <laughs> lloyd's done videos for all of us he's done videos for me done videos for tim for uh that fat guy hey lloyd where's yours Let, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and find lloyd's uh intro you guys chat amongst yourself Lloyd's done an awesome can I, video. Can I, uh, can I talk about my experience growing up with, Go for uh, it. with weight? Because okay. um, my story is a little bit different. Like I said, I didn't have, um, I didn't, like between year three and year seven was when I was my largest. Um, and during that period, I actually had to have a liver biopsy um, because my mum's cooking, my, 
God love my mum. She's not in the best shape at the moment. She uh, she had a heart attack uh, last Saturday night. Uh, sorry, not this Saturday, but the Saturday before that. And that was and three weeks before that, she actually had a stroke. So she's not really doing um, the best with her health at the moment. No, she sort of lives four and a half hours away from me, so I can't, you know, it's not easy for me to go and see her. Um, and was, she's she's recovering now, uh, but it's sort of, it's a bit of a rocky, rocky road at the moment. Um, but when I was younger, her... Her cooking skills were not the best. Her mentality was if you can't fry it, boil it. And she pretty much just like everything that I ate was just so bad, so bad for me that I actually got to the point where I was, I was so sick all the time. I was being like, I was throwing up all the time. I had gut pains all the time and I had to go to the doctors for, you know, months. And then all of a sudden they're like, we just need to do a liver biopsy. So they took a piece of my liver. I was obviously had to go under anesthetic and have it done. And yeah, they were like, you have an incredibly fatty liver. And like from that, that day on, my mum had to change my entire, like the way she prepared food, the way she cooked food. She like, like if she, it was so bad that if she would, she would pretty much pick something up and be like, how can I boil this? Or how can I fry it? How can I deep fry this? And uh, yeah, it was like, that was my experience. I, I sort of had a medical issue. And then after that, I sort of shot up in height. I ate better. And yeah, it's sort of like, well, when I look back on my school photos, I'm like, shit, I really wasn't like from, you know, in high school, I really wasn't that big at all. I was just tall and lanky. Well, you know, I'm sorry to hear about your um, mother's health. And, uh, you know, I just, I hope, you know, for her sake, you know, your sake and her sake, she's uh, going to recover soon. But uh, yeah, mate, that's uh, pretty much, I can whole, wholeheartedly agree with you. My mum, you know, she was a single mum, you know, raising me for the most part. And you know, everything was, you know, just really easy. Just chuck it in the oven or bake it or just, uh, no, sorry, or fry it, you know. And I just, yeah, grew up with bad foods. And uh, she she was somewhat of like um, an enabler. Like, you know, if I asked her, you know, could you get me some sweets or something like that, she would actually do it. And for a lot, lot for me, like, was Coca-Cola. Like, she would literally get Coca-Cola like, and bring it home, like, for me to drink it. And I will drink, like, smash her a litre bottle, like, that honestly yeah um, mm. yeah we used to have an account we used to have an account at the local corner shop as well and she would just like if she didn't want to cook it it'd just be like a hot dog or you know pie or chicken chips with gravy or something like that so I just yeah like it, it's it, it's a it's an example of how I don't want to be with my own son but then yeah. I'm sort of like wedged between that and the fact that he won't eat anything except chicken fucking nuggets like honestly yeah. <sighs> Ash loves a nug though can't blame the kid I love a nug. Yeah. Love a nug. Yeah. So what? Did notice, oh, uh, oh, oh, go on. Go on. <laughs> I saw that uh, Ryan Benson asked if uh, how my son goes with food also. And, uh, yeah, he's also pretty fussy. Um, he's on the spectrum as well, which most kids on the spectrum only eat things that are pretty bland, um, which mostly just crackers, bread, sandwiches, um, we have managed to start um, getting to eat lettuce and spinach and basil. And we've found that this has happened by making a garden at the back mm. and actually growing these things. So he goes out there and he picks them himself and he'll just start eating them, um, which That's like fantastic. beforehand, like we were trying to put stuff on his plate and he wouldn't eat it, but he'll go out to the garden and he'll eat it fresh. So... It's a win-win there. Um, yeah. But anyway, back to it, guys. <laughs> well, I was thinking... Um, oh, go on. Go on I was going to say, Henry does drink the kid's shake, though, because he thinks it's a normal milkshake, is... dumbass. Like... My, kid, my <laughs> son will quite often come up to me and say, can I have a shake, Dad? And I'm like, yep, no worries, buddy. Go get the shake. And he, he likes the mix. He calls it the mix. And that's like... That's either... Uh, strawberry with like a super greens in it, or it's like half a scoop of strawberry, half a scoop of the chocolate kid shake, and he loves it. He and he'll have it with milk, and he'll have it with water. Like he just loves it. So um, good. it's good to get those. You know, you know, he's getting those extra things that he needs. So you don't yeah. you don't ride him quite so hard if he's having a, having one of those. You know, every now and then. So yeah, kids are kids. That's good. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, we want to just got a question here, yep. you real quick. Yeah. Well, I was going to say. Do we want to um, do the first get into thing? The first, uh, yep. the first draw, the first uh, giveaway for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Joe, do you want to throw up that intro? Yeah. Um, are we doing? Uh, are we going to do? Which one are we going to do first? Oh yeah. 
We'll do the question. We'll right? do the question. All right. I haven't got the question. Ash is going to tell us the question. Let's. All right. Let's. What so is the let, question? Let's let so let me go over to here, Ash. Hold on. Let me go over to here. All right. You you tell us, and then we'll do the wheel. Go. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, we are doing a wheel of fortune. That we've I've built this wheel with my very own hands, and it, hopefully, it works on the live stream. But you can <laughs> see right next to me, right next to me on this side. Uh, a, a list of prizes that you can win tonight, ranging from a stubby holder with a hat, a uh, box of man bars, box of man, a bag of man shake, the maintenance pack, the starter pack, or the ultimate weight loss pack. Look at Jert. He's even got the stuff that going, oh. man. That's brilliant. Hey, I'm, not, I'm not here to muck around, you know. I, it's a dumpster fire, look but that. I get shit done. Look at that. that <laughs> it's a dumpster fire, so, but you can't look That's away. it. <laughs> the car crash in slow motion. <laughs> so obviously um uh we need to have someone uh you know uh, be eligible to win so we're going to ask a question to everyone out there now it's the first person to answer it correctly gets to spin the wheel gets a chance to win all right so and we're going to do it right now ladies and gentlemen out there first person to get it first person to get it how many man shake flavors are there including limited editions I can't see comments, so you boys better watch out. <laughs> I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. He's watching. watching. He's watching. Do, 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 His eyes are on you. Everyone's thinking hopefully, about it. Hopefully the chat refreshes. <clears throat> Everyone's thinking about it. Oh, looks like we got Simon Taylor. At least yes. that's the first one that cropped up for me. Oh, Is that, that the first one that cropped up for you guys? That's the first one that came up for me as well, yes. Yes, yeah, Simon did. Simon Taylor, he is the yep. lucky winner. Uh, we're going to do a spin in just a moment. Uh, the flavors, of course, are uh, birthday cake, which you can't get anymore. That's a limited edition. Thank God that you can't get that anymore. Oh, <laughs> be nice. Uh, caramel, shock mint, uh, chocolate, uh, banana, strawberry, vanilla, and what was the last one? I can't forget the last one. Coffee. coffee. Oh, coffee. forget That's the coffee. Favorite. Oh, you can forget okay. the coffee one. Coffee's the best. Easy, oh, easy, shut easy you. Forget, easy forget. Now, have we got some? Um, have we got some uh, ambient? Uh, what is it? The uh, elevator music going, Joe? Uh, no, no water sports. I'm unfortunately. Can you please uh, tell, please tell me? Do you have an actual microphone on that wheel so we can hear it spinning? Absolutely. Yes. You'll be able to, you'll be able to hear it through uh, my microphone. But Excellent. ladies and gentlemen, this is the wheel that I created right here. This is the Mad Shake. Wheel of Fortune. Do, 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 do. So, there you go. Do, 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 do. All right. So um, what we're going to do is going to spin for you. Here we go. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. If someone wins the grand prize straight off the bat, I'm going to laugh. Wow, wow. Oh, yellow. What does he win? He wins a one bag of man shake. Man shake. Boom, boom. There we go. Your flavor of choice. Congratulations. So, um, brilliant. That's fantastic. So, um, Simon Taylor, boom. can you please message any one of us uh, your email? Uh, to get the prize, you basically just need to uh, have... A, oh, sorry, I'll go bring the camera back. That's okay. We're looking at your okay. glorious okay. wheel. It's Thomas. magnificent. <laughs> so basically, um, you need to have a, set up a user with the Manshake website uh, under the email that you want to provide us, and we'll um, you know, organize all of that. So uh, just email us the information then. Actually, can you just put it back on the wheel, man? I think it'd be cool if we had a talking wheel as one of our one of our yeah, hold on. one yeah, of yeah, the yeah. members. Oh. Are you are you on the main screen? Yeah. yeah. I said we need the. That's it. That's we need Ash to be replaced by a giant. We need the hurry yeah. up, Mister Blackboard from Mister Squiggle. That's what we need. There you go. Oh, someone's Slow at birthday down, cake flavor. We can't, we can't get oh, birthday cake anymore. <laughs> Birthday cake. Can't get birthday cake anymore. Birthday cake. Unless there's like, do you reckon? Do you reckon there's a secret stash of it at Manshake HQ? Maybe we should launch no. a full investigation. No, it's not. You don't need to look. You don't need to look. It's not there. Oh, you know, you know, there's some there. It's, You're just hiding it for yourself. In my basement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah. You're hoarding it. I got it in a storage container in the middle of nowhere. I've lost the chat. Oh, I've still got it. I've here. lost the chat. Alright. Can you get uh can you just message Simon Taylor and get that organized? Simon Taylor, come on down. You win a bag mm -hmm. of manshake. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go into his profile. That's all right. 
Well, congratulations, but we are going to be doing another one very soon, we'll guys. When we do. And yeah. we're also going to do the big uh, zinger shake. Ash is uh, hungry, thirsty. He's uh, hangry. He wants that uh, zinger shake. He's dying for it. Do you think maybe they could make a zinger into one of those, what do they call them, crushers? What do they call those things that they have? The KFC, they um, do the crusher. crusher. Oh, yeah. KFC a zinger crusher. crusher. There yeah. you go. That could work. All right. Oh, my. All right. So what, we, what else? Let's. Yes. Let's Area 51 man shake. They can't stop us all. Ryan, you have no idea how correct that is because I'm obviously I'm not going to give away <laughs> business details on this show, but we we learned how many people are actually on man shake and it is a fucking big number. Like it is a very big number. Yeah. There are a lot of men out there using man shake and it is so awesome. If we just so if awesome. we just it's like that thing, what are they gonna yeah, they're gonna storm Area 51. We just storm uh, we just storm HQ and just just bring them down. Uh, you know, Dukes would destroy all of us. Uh, <laughs> just, 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 he'd spear tackle every just, one of us. Just a reminder: we are powered <laughs> by Manshake, and we do not recommend doing that, people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Well, you know what? There's uh, might be no time like the present. Maybe I should go get uh, on set up for this um, the Zinger right. Burger Shake. Let me do this. Yeah. Get ready to throw up, everyone. All right. Get ready. To I will be back up. soon. Okay, he'll be back soon. Oh. We're going to leave his bed cam on because we like Hasselhoff. Can you point us towards the Hasselhoff? Oh, he's turned. Oh, he's turned it off. He turned off his. Camp. He turned it Cheeky off. Boy. There we go. Give us the half. That's who we came uh, for. Hoppy. That's who we came for. Right there. Perfect. All right. So while he's doing that, I'm going to bring up this camera here. You're not going to be able to see it. Uh, Maybe we should. Yeah, we should make Ash do a different shake every fortnight. That sounds great. It does. We'll get chat to decide what it is. <laughs> uh, update. Ash is currently exiting the bedroom and he is oh, looking at some tiled floor. I'll just, uh, I'll just, I sent you a photo as oh. well uh, in the chat, okay. Jared. Uh, it was a piece of artwork that someone did for me this week that I'd oh, just like to show off amazing. as well. Amazing. Why not? La da Very fun, sir. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's see here. Is it in? So, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's in the middle. Anyone who knows me knows that Ooh, my that. relationship with my son is like incredibly important to me, and I like to show, like, I like to, uh, I like to show it off essentially to the world because I really am a big advocate for fathers being in their their children's lives and how important it is for you know like uh, you know parents to be in their children's lives. And I hear so many horror stories about dads that don't want to you know have anything to do with their kids and it's like for me it's been the most fulfilling thing that's ever happened in my life and someone sent me this picture this artwork that they did for me um and honestly when i saw it it made me tear up and i know it's a bit off topic but fuck i just want to show it all right let me it pretty much sums up yeah me and henry in, in one in a nutshell let me i'm, I'm getting there I'm, we're getting there <laughs> doing a live chat we're doing it live here we go let's see if this works uh don't end that do that there we go. Look at that. Aww. How good's that? Yeah, Love it. So that's 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 me and Henry and him playing with trains. So so good. I uh, he absolutely loves trains. There is his favourite thing in the world. So I was over the moon, and I'm going to put it on a t-shirt. I think I'm going to hopefully sell sell a few of them to my community. Oh, so actually, actually, funny you mentioned that, Tim. Uh, if anyone out there is <laughs> Plugville, um, no, if anyone out there is. Part of my uh, little Twitch community I got going on. Um, just letting you know, the the Jerd Man hats are in, people. They are in. Oh. So thank you uh, to Justin from Fay Golf. The hats look amazing. Thank you, mate. Love them. So it started out as a meme. Um, I had I got a shirt done with a JM on it, and then one of my mods from the UK said, "I love hats." And I said, okay, we'll do hats. And then someone else heard it and said, hats, are you doing hats? And I went, I guess we're doing hats. So the hats are in. So that's that's about it. So who, who did them for um, you? Justin from Fade Golf, Fade Golf Apparel, uh, Follow Your Dreams, I think it's called. Um, I might have to hit him up. Hit him up. Let me know. I can put you in contact with him. So they look amazing. I'll have my people talk to your my people. My people will talk to your people. Okay, let me let me do an update on <laughs> Let me update here on Ash and see how he's going. No, that's the wrong one. Oh, it's a cluster. Here we go. Oh, no, he's still... Okay, Ash is currently... Uh, are you ready? Are you ready, Ash? Nah, he's heating it up. He's heating it up. <laughs> he's heating it up. Oh, no. He's heating it up. Oh, we should be seeing this, though. This is gold. 
<laughs> so, so what's what else has been happening? What else has been happening, Tim? Anything? Can you can you can you put the camera? I on? can, Why but he he text? might not want the camera on. Uh, and we should have clarified this before. He was going to give me a wave when he was ready. I don't want to jump on him if he's not ready for it. So. He's doing. Oh, he's unwrapping it. Oh, I can see. Oh, we should. You no, know, I can't. I can't hear you guys. That's, that's, do, that's do, really fine. Like I can talk. Do you as want well. the camera on? Do you want the camera on now or not? <laughs> can you guys hear me? Yeah, at we all? can. Yeah, we yeah. can. Sure can. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, um, you're welcome okay. to track it on. Right. If you want. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cross live to our reporter in Ash's kitchen. Here we go. There it is. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Got here. Uh, a Zinger Burger. You're all familiar with this one. Um, it is a beautiful piece of uh, food engineering. And we've got some potato. We've got some gravy here. This is um, gravy from KFC and hot water, right? And you may notice the uh, food processor right here. So oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. What? <laughs> it's it's going to happen, people. It's going to happen, right? Um, I actually had to practice this the other day to find out whether it would actually work. And it, it works, believe it or not. But I'm only going to do half a burger. Yeah? Oh, pussy. <laughs> no. You can do it. All right. Yep. In there. Bang. Right. Gravy. Bang. Yeah. Bit of water. Zinger yeah. cam. Oh, I just saw the <laughs> Amazing. Now we'll chuck that. Do the off. whole thing, you softy. Do it. I don't think I have enough gravy for it, but all right. I'll <laughs> See, peer pressure. Peer pressure, yeah. peer pressure yeah. ladies and gentlemen. It works yeah. every time. <laughs> Send it. Right. Eat it or yeet it. Let's do it. I'm going to calm down. Stop <laughs> yelling at me. No, it's going to get loud, Joe. You might want to. Oh, oh hold on. Cinnamon. Okay, hold on. Cinnamon. <laughs> Yummy. Oh. Add some cinnamon for Joe. Mm. Cinnamon's the best. I think I might need a little bit more. You put cinnamon on anything. I quote Seinfeld when someone says, what, "What's in this? Why is it so fantastic?" <laughs> The answer comes back time and time again. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Let's check that consistency. <laughs> Bill, Brown in, Bill Brown in chat has just given me the idea for the next one. Next fortnight, you should do a kebab shake. Yeah. Hello, yeah, snack pack. I'm not doing that one. You can do that one. <laughs> <laughs> we need a H H HSP. We need a HSP. Oh, HSP shake. Stephen Singh. Oh. Stephen. <laughs> This is an absolute cluster. This episode's an absolute cluster. Um, Stephen Singh, get us a HSP, mate, and we'll throw it in a blender. And I don't know. <laughs> this is. That's, a, that's, that's not a great. This that, is, that's not a great. Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah. That looks like it'll do. Oh, oh. I'm just. Oh. <laughs> mm. All right. Let's give that a go. Yeah. Looks like something I'd see in my son's nappy. Okay. Oh, that's not something you'd have on a Same. something you have it on a pork chop. Just so there's no camera trickery here, people. All right, you're taking hey, out hey. the calorie calculator, oh. Ash. And... Can you? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, could you put that on top of a steak? Oh Jesus! Oh. Can you? Am I in frame? Yeah, yeah. Godspeed, me? Godspeed. Yeah. Oh. Taking one for the team. Jesus. Oh, you absolute animal. No. Absolute animal. <laughs> <laughs> the looks at it all. Yeah. He's still going. Oh, no. Stop. Send it. Stop. Send it, Ash. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he full, he full sent it. Okay. I'm just going to go follow up real quick. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> oh. Okay. See you later. Dinger cam's off. That is disgraceful. No. And that is the last episode of Man Talk that was ever okay. allowed to be put on, on the internet. And, that's, and thus ends the Man Talk. <laughs> <laughs> that is just that is terrible. See, a chat out there, you guys just would thing. please talk to me. You guys would know in chat. Are you okay? Are you okay, Ash? He'll be back. He'll be back. He's fine. <laughs> is he all right? For you out there in chat land, um, this just proves that not everything is good in shake form. Stick to your man shakes. It's meant to give you all the nutrients you need in a shake yeah. form. You can't just blend anything and shove it in a shake. It's not going to work. I think Adam, that, Adam has mastered it. He has mastered the shake. He's, he has put all he's got like eight degrees. Uh, that's not accurate. But he's got a heap of degrees. He knows what he's doing. 
Yeah. This guy down so, here in the bottom corner okay. has no idea what just, he's doing. Ooh. Just quietly, do we know if the offer for the defend uh, booster is still running at the mm, moment? Good question. I'll check the website. I think it's yeah. the I'll, last couple of I'll days. I'll check the website. Yeah, I think so. I just wanted to quickly talk about that. There was a bit of um, there was a bit of conjecture on the page about uh, the fact that they were doing an immunity booster, and I just wanted to say, like, after using it for about a week, a week and a half now, I've actually found that overall, I don't like. I, I normally have stomach like stomach pain sometimes, and I've just noticed that uh, after like a week of using it, I do actually feel better overall in terms of my stomach health. Um, and a lot of people are saying that like it's a cash in, like it's it's really not. When you consider how much colostrum and probiotics and that usually cost, it's actually a really good like deal. And the fact that they're giving it away free with an order of man like a one ninety nine order of man shake is. It's a pretty good like deal because most manshake orders sit around that two hundred dollar mark on average, as far as I'm aware. So like, yeah, if you if you are planning to order it and the deal is still going, I'd hundred percent recommend that you get some and just try it. And even if like you know they don't continue it like after that, consider going to your chemist and getting a probiotic because it is actually quite good for you. Yeah, oh, it's, it's on screen now. Right. So it's on screen. You can see it there. Um, so there's a few things I can recommend. Not doing that again. Don't do yeah. that. Yeah. Don't that again. Oh, look. It, it actually, like, I mean, it, it did just full blown, just taste like a zinger burger that has been dipped in gravy. Like that's 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 about it. Um, it was just weird to to experience drinking it. Um, in preparation for this, I was trying to find out ways to blend a burger, but it's like next to impossible. I had to end up searching like how to eat food if you got a broken jaw. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then it kind of like you know fell upon like oh you know use some sort of gravy or broth or whatever. Um, but yeah, Colonel's 11 herbs spices that probably won't get the five star health rating. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, yeah, if, if oh, I've got an idea, you know how there's a, there's a channel on YouTube called, will it blend? We should do a, we should do a segment called, will it blend and will Ash drink it? Will, will it become a shake? Look, think, will it become a shake? Think, I, Can we shake honestly, it? I don't want to hurt my way. I'm still trying to lose weight. Jordan. I'm going to be honest with you, Ash. I'm really disappointed that you didn't put it in the whole zinger box into the shake, like the chips as well. Maybe some Mountain Dew or Seven Up oh. gravy, like the Wicked Wings, oh. just all in the food processor. <laughs> Grind that shit up and get it India. All your calories in one go. No. Are you trying to kill me here? No. Like, <laughs> There's, there's a lot of blokes out there on the Man Shake Man page that are just like, oh, I had KFC as a cheat meal and it hurt my stomach. I'm feeling sick and all that. It's like, uh, what I say to them is you got a weak constitution, honestly. Like, I just drank, <laughs> drank a Zinger burger. I just drank a Zinger burger. Like, I don't think I've, anyone has ever said that before in their life. And I feel fine. Yeah, now feel you fine. feel fine now. When you're riding the toilet <laughs> later, you'll be another story. <laughs> I, um, well, I actually, well, I actually did have to drink some yesterday uh, as well because I had to practice it. So, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, the um, my way in this week will probably be affected. Mm. In defense, <laughs> when, uh, sorry, yeah. I was gonna say I usually watch this. I, I watch um, the YouTube channel Smosh a lot on, uh, and they do a, a thing called Eat It or Yeet It, and they do like crazy meals that like essentially it's blind, blind, like blind eating and you don't know what it is you're eating and it could be good or it could be absolutely terrible. We should consider doing something like that. If we ever do a live that show. That sounds like a like those, um, segment. Jelly bellies. There's the two just types a... of jelly bellies and one's shit house and one's Ooh. good. It sounds yeah. like a segment I used to see yeah. on uh, Agro's Carnage Connection growing up where they used to have that wheel <laughs> and they had that fish milkshake and all that stuff. They get Anne Marie to drink. You sort of look, you sort of look like Agro, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever watch? Do you ever watch back episodes of Agro's Cartoon Connection and go, "How the shit was that allowed?" I don't TV? know how they like the amount it. of sexual yeah. harassment he inflicts on his poor. On allegedly, his poor allegedly. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you see it in the outtakes, mate. Honestly, watch the outtakes. But Jeff, yeah. can you do us a favor? Can you put on a hat, right? Turn around and then put your head just at the bottom of the screen. I reckon you look like Dicky Me. I've got the I've got the right <laughs> hat for the job too. I'll just put this one on. Um, oh merch plug oh fuck me <laughs> i got the merch you missed that i got the merch mate i got the hookup it started as a meme it turned into a real thing all right dickie knee come on mate come on mr summers mr, mr. <laughs> mr. summers mr summers <laughs> oh, God. there he is hey, I, I don't get down on my knees for every man so be thankful <laughs> 
But anyway, let's talk uh, about that's what, not what I've heard on the oh, screen. Oh, you not what I've heard. careful. <laughs> let's just let's also just uh, also just say that Cheese TV was better than Agro. No. Cheese TV. Yeah, so good. Cheese TV had Dragon Ball Z. Doesn't yeah, nothing yeah. else compares. Dragon Ball Z was. The <laughs> shit. I remember. I remember watching the Freezer Saga for what felt like six months. That's because it did go. <laughs> it did go. Uh, it finally turned Super Saiyan. Oh my god, it happened. <laughs> And uh, they had Ro- they had Robotech and they had Samurai Pizza Cats. No, and they had- Agro's had Samurai Pizza Cats. <laughs> no, wasn't it? Cheese no, TV? it was Agro, baby. I never watched Cheese TV. That's a lie. They had, I, I, I Google. Okay, I'm going to Google. Because they had... Uh, Samurai Pizza Cats was Agro. officially had the longest intro ever. But it was so That's good. such a good intro. It went forever. Oh, yeah, it was really good. Didn't but it have went... the dude from the B-52s? Didn't no, it? I think it was the Old Mate from Bewitched. Old Mate from Bewitched. Paul oh, Lynn, I think it was. Ooh, that's... Pizza Cats. <laughs> that's so good. This is man talk, not children talk, people. Let's get off Samurai Pizza Cats. But it's such a good show. It's our childhood. We're hey, guys, about our childhood. guys. Shh, shh. <laughs> Pepperoni. That's it. We can't hear it. We can't hear it. Ladies just and hearing. gentlemen, just to give you some it. perspective, we cannot hear they anything hear. he's doing right now. So we just literally hear him say shush, and then he's like, shush. Samurai Pizza Cats. I'm pretty sure that was aggro. Anyway. Oh, yeah, I know. I turned that, yeah. That's so good. That's so good. Ladies and gentlemen in the chat, <laughs> just put down below, what was your favorite childhood <laughs> show? While we're talking about childhoods and being fat, let us know what your favorite uh... childhood show was. I love Dragon Ball Z. My name was Ash, so I love Pokemon as well. I was right in the middle of that phase. And um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was one of my early ones. Love that. Agro's Cartoon Connection, yeah. Ad Bumper 1994. There you go. Cop that. <laughs> Fun. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, what else are we doing? Do we, do we want to... Oh, Rugrats. Hamish Coy says Rugrats. That's a fantastic... Oh, I thought, I thought uh, Rugrats was overrated, but Voltron, someone said Voltron. That was, that was good. That who was said, who said Voltron? Can you tell me who said Voltron? Do you know? We were once... Well, totally... Vincent, we were once hanging out Vincent with some mates certain... and we were reminiscing about, like, growing up in, in, like, you know, early 90s and that. And my mate said... Hold on, we were chatting about all different things. My mate said, "Hold on, hold on, I've got the ultimate." And he went, "Voltron," and then it just crickets. No, not a single person harumphed him at all, and he just stood there. He was disappointed. Alan Burton Shaw, round of this, honestly. Yeah. Have you ever ever felt like this? Felt like Strange this. things <laughs> happen. We're going round and twist. Going round oh. What a great. Uh, tune. We could go. Yu-Gi-Oh, human and Shira, monkey magic, oh, Hogan's monkey magic, Ghostbusters, <laughs> Ang- Super Ted. Super Ted. I like Bob in the Bottle, but you, he wasn't around long. It was like 12 episodes, but I love Bob in the Bottle. Roger Ramjet. Oh, Danger Mouse. Danger, Danger Mouse. Mouse. Fucking, that's it. Danger, Danger Mouse. Hey, they've actually brought that back. Have they? They've brought Danger yeah, Mouse they? back. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Yeah. They had the most catch. They also, they also brought back Voltron. 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 Stop plugging Voltron. <laughs> Leave Voltron alone, Tim. <laughs> no, no, Netflix brought Voltron back and it was fucking awesome. Like, it was really good. So you're going really, to really good. Timmy sponsored by the reboot of Voltron. Voltron. I am. <laughs> hashtag ad. Hashtag sponsored. Hashtag partner. Jeez, he's plugging the shit out of Voltron. What's he got some sort of deal? It was a great show. And Power <laughs> yeah. Rangers. Power my kids, Power funny. Rangers. My kids are watching Power Rangers now, right? And I said, I said a few different things, and they're like, "How do you know?" I said, "I watch Power Rangers after school every afternoon because you had to watch it at three yeah. thirty. You couldn't just get it on Johnson demand." And friends. Yeah, Johnson bring, and up, friends. bring up the pictures. Oh, single, oh, hello. Speaking every of, every single yeah. character in Johnson and Friends suffered from some kind of mental illness or some kind of um, uh, mental issue. And you know, I, it took me watching, rewatching it as an adult to realize that. And I feel like Johnson and Friends really helped in a way to normalize that because you know, like it, it essentially, you know, like the water bottle had severe anxiety. Like it was just, it, like you watch it back now and you go, "Holy shit!" You know that that that's really a really important lesson that that show taught everyone. I rewatched that show, gave me nightmares for a week. Honestly, it was just. I just got a message from. Uh, I just got a message from Jay Grice. He says I should do my Jared Man's Neapolitan shake in a soda stream. I don't know about that. Someone mentioned a soda stream this afternoon, know, and it reminds me of when I tried to put a mm. milkshake and a soda stream together in a milkshake cup, mm. and it virtually exploded and covered every 
wall in my yeah, grandma's kitchen. Yeah, I don't know about that, Jade. I love your work, Jade, but okay. I don't know about that, mate. <laughs> do you guys uh, Jade, remember? You, you don't get two requests, mate. You don't get two. Do you Next remember? Do you remember Gladiators? Yes, Gladiator. Gladiator, ready. ready. Oh, I, I, Gladiator. Met Vol- I met Vulcan. Type I, Type I met Vulcan. I absolutely reckon I could have taken it. Vulcan. <laughs> absolutely. Vulcan, yeah. And also Amazing. Remember Amazing? Uh, 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 oh, amazing. Amazing uh, uh, was uh, uh, great. Uh, 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 it's amazing. We, um, yeah. A little while back, you can you can watch a whole heap of the episodes on YouTube and you watch all the competition um, where they do like uh, Mario Kart and they've got to go around all the course and get all the letters. Such a good show. And things like that. Do I remember Star Blazers and Starship Yamato? Yes. Yes, I do. Great shows. Molly Grubbs. Molly Grubbs <laughs> me. Molly Grubbs you. Do, 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 do. Hey, here he is. <laughs> I honestly feel like we grew up. Oh, we, in, we grew up in the golden. Have you got any plugs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. Oh, there we go. We grew up in a golden, a golden era. Oh, sure, we have those. Well, we grew up with um the best of like yeah you because know, I was born in the late eighties but we had like the the pre-internet, pre-video games kind of like era where you're out on your bikes after school and everything like that, and then got introduced to like the yeah. like, you know, mainstream video games, like, you know, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and then the internet as well came through. Yeah. And it was just like, you, you, we got like a yeah. bit of everything, you know, across this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and, now, and now children, now children have like Bluey. Uh, Blue is the oh, don't you dare. And animated Thomas the Tank. Don't you, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Dad. I will. I will strike you down with furious anger. Do not be. Do not be smirched, Bluey. It's the best show around. Mister Squiggle. Yes. Nah. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Bluey or Mister Squiggle? Come Who on, chat. You know what? You know where the shit is. You said Mister Squiggle. Shane Beasley. There nah. you go. Bluey is so overrated. Off. It is so have you overrated. have you sat down and watched Bluey? You will laugh. The shit in there. I've I've watched it with my son and he laughs and I just sit there. Uh, you have no. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, so we, we are approaching near the end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give a quick warning. Get your friends on this chat. So if you want to win the next uh, draw, it is a pure random draw. So if you want to win the next um, spin the wheel, that's going to be happening soon. Get your friends onto this chat. We're going to be doing it in the next five, ten minutes. Honestly, and get them on we're, your we're letting you, fun, we're let, fun fact. Oh, sorry. We're letting you know out there too. We, us four, have already picked the number between one and a hundred. That is the winning number. We have already picked it. We are vouching for each other. There's nothing dodgy going on. We have a number. It's in the overlay. I can bring up the number with a click of a button. So nothing dodgy. Nothing sus. Yeah. Fun fact: Vol yeah. lives in Menai, runs a fitness shop, and was in a James Bond film. Still can take him. <laughs> so if you listen, if you listen, Vulcan, let's do it one on one. Let's go. Let's run down that gauntlet with the rubber. I don't sword. think Vulcan's that busy nowadays, so he's probably got time for you, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's probably on the main. Oh, we're going to have Vulcan <laughs> slamming in through. He's going to be the special guest next week. Can we get Vulcan? <laughs> Vulcan's out there. Vulcan, come on in. Oh, He Man. Uh-huh. He Man and the Master. That was good. I love He Man. I had all the figurines. I wish I had still had them because they would have been worth a fortune. I had the castle and all that shit. Oh, man. Yeah, same. I, oh, I did. Yeah. What, yeah. what about Thunderbirds? Mm. Mm. Yes. What's your favorite Thunderbird? Oh. Number two was number two. Favorite. Number two. Yeah. Number two. It has oh. to be number two. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he, he dropped down number four. You know the little submarine uh, that looked like a car, which was awesome. And uh, yeah, it was absolutely the best one. Absolutely the best one. Number two. Number two. Best one. All right. Let's see. <laughs> a lot of people hey, um, struggle. They do. I don't, <laughs> yes, I don't they know. do. <laughs> I don't know if it was the same for you guys, but when it started to get towards Christmas, you'd lose all the good shows and then they'd start repeating just real rubbish shows yeah. and Christmas specials and it was You know what was ass. the worst thing about growing... I love how we're talking about TV shows. The worst thing about not on having on-demand TV was that you could get involved in a storyline and then Monday, it would be like two seasons from where you were watching it currently. It's like, what happened to Joe Blow? Not nah, gone. That's the worst thing. Just a heads up for chat as well. We're going to give you a 30 second period to suggest numbers. We're not taking guesses yet. Yeah. We'll let you know when you can start guessing. So yeah. no guesses at the moment are going to oh, count towards that. Yeah. So we, we will alert you when it is time, when it is time. So all previous numbers right now do not count. So get your friends here, get them on here because it's just all random. So 
Get him on here. If you're in chat and you think it can think of a good topic for us to tackle next week, please hit us up in the comments and let us know what you want us to chat about. Like we're four different dudes. We have different perspectives on a lot of different things. So um, hit us up in the comments of what you want us to tackle next week. We've chatted 80, 90 sitcoms. So like anything's open. We're, we're an open Dean book. Medino. Wonder Years. Oh, Love that's that the show. best show. Love that oh, show. I've got a Winnie, question. Winnie, Winnie, Cooper. Winnie, Cooper. Winnie, Cooper. Oh, Winnie Cooper. Winnie Cooper has my heart forever. I love Winnie Cooper. Oh, Winnie Cooper. She's yeah. a mathematician. I've got a question for She's chat. a genius. Scooby-Doo was good too. It's about like the original Scooby-Doo. Oh, <sighs> Velma. Uh, I, you know what? something about Velma that came out uh, last week or something? They said that Velma was um, attractive to a lot of people apparently. So good on you, Velma. More power to you. Sailor. Sailor Moon. Do I Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon. Really good website yeah. is uh, Retro Junk, if you haven't checked it out. <laughs> Retro Junk? Retro Junk.com. I thought you were going to go somewhere completely different with that. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, man, we cannot do yeah, this. Mind, yeah. <laughs> mind, mind out of the gutter. Tim's been, That's uh, Tim's been hanging out on the Rule 34 uh, subreddit, haven't you, Tim? Uh, I can, uh, I've got a question for chat. What was the name of your childhood crush? Ooh. What was the name of your childhood crush? Can be a person, can be a TV show character, can be an inanimate object. I like Steffi from Full House. <laughs> <laughs> it's the curly blonde hair, Steffi from Full House. Look, I reckon, I reckon I'm going to go with the same one as a lot of people, Marsha. From yeah. Bunch. yeah. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha. Alicia Marsha. Silverstone. Ooh. 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 Um, and when she was Batwoman? Yeah. Oh, Tiffany wow. Amber Thiessen from Saved by the Bell. Actually, any of the girls from Saved by the Bell. Even Screech. My Screech first, is pretty good too. My, Even Screech. He's pretty good. My first childhood crush was actually a girl, like a real life Ooh, girl. And she tell was us called more. Bronwyn. Ooh, Bronwyn. She was called Bronwyn. Yep. And she, uh, I tried to talk to her one day and her friend uh, sat next to me on the bus and said that I could never talk to her again. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the end of that. That was wanna, the end of all that. right, just, just every relationship you've just described. Just <laughs> for, for those oh, for those yeah. out in chat land, just uh, cop this. Okay, keep talking. Um, here's a tragic story for being a fat kid in primary school. Uh, my parents owned a flower shop. So every Valentine's Day, I would give a different girl a Valentine's Day Ooh. present, and it would almost end up in the same bin oh. every year oh. and the same teacher would grab that same present out and put on her desk oh. you need you need that but then it all all changed in high school because every girl wanted a valentine's day present in high school so, I, was, I was i was the guy to mr see, fresh so, yeah. um yeah Wait, were you doing were you doing the eyebrows like were you doing the i was yeah <laughs> i had i even had the glamour shot with the present you know wow. you should have done a card with i should, should choose you on it <laughs> That would have worked. <laughs> you want to be on? Yeah. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Yeah, that would have worked. <laughs> There's a picture of a bee on it. Poor Lloyd. Here's our Ralph Wiggum. Oh, poor Lloyd. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, all right. Do we, we oh. want to run this comp? Yeah, let's do it. Count. Let's Let do me it. see. Hold on. Is everyone Let here? me see if I've got a sound here. Let me see. Uh, if I got a, if I got a, I got a horn actually. Um, well, you, you only had a fortnight to. Prepare. I've got a, I've it's got a horn. Just... Okay, are we ready? When you hear this sound, start spamming your numbers. Not spamming. One guess per person. Your first guess is the one that you're going to get. So you got thirty seconds, and I'll, I'll give the call. Ready? Set. Go. We just have to wait for chat to catch up because there's a delay. I did the cash register. Cha-ching. Well, 30 seconds would be 30 seconds regardless of the delay. Yeah. Oh. And we did say between one and 100, we did. didn't we? We did say one and 100. One yeah, and 100, we need, to, we need to count. We need to count 30 seconds from the first. Yeah, there we go. So Matt just popped there. So 30 seconds from now. There we go. Do, 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 do. Actually, while we're chatting too, I'm going to get a plug in. Uh, after this, I'm going to be on. Oh. I'm going to be on Twitch. Um, come on in if you want to come and have a chat. I'm going to do marbles on stream. You can just hang out. You can play along. Get a marble each. Try and race to the finish line. That's it. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it. You got five seconds. Quickly, get your answers in. 
we, if they don't get it, we're just going to go to whoever's closest, guys? Or? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're, okay, we're done. We're done. done. We're done. Bang. Done. All right. We've got a winner. We've got Do we have a winner? Do we? We've got a winner. Okay, here we go. We've got a Ready, winner. chat. Here we go. One, two, three. Boom. There it is. Bill Dykoff, I'm pretty sure, is the winner I can see here. Is it Bill Dykoff? No, because I think he posted his comment before we went. Uh, no, before. But he, he, no, no, he just, I saw one pop up here from Bill Dykov, like literally now. Uh, chat will tell us. Yeah, because I've got it. It was way back in the chat for me. That's why I first said that. That's when I first said that we weren't taking guesses yet because his yeah. thing popped up. Yeah, no, he, he did it after as well. Oh, okay, good. Okay, after. yeah. Did it after. So, yeah, Bill, Bill yeah. Dykov, congratulations. You have won the right to spin the wheel. For the last time tonight. So what we're going to do is, uh, Joe, man, if you're ready for with the bang, mate, on, on, onto it. Yeah. Mm. Good work, so, Billy boy. Congratulations. Mate. Mm. All right. So, Bill, do you want a do you want a big spin or a little spin, mate? Let's give us a yell. <laughs> I'm just going to do a big spin. <laughs> Boom. Bag of man shake. Wow, two bags. Two bags, man. Two bags full. Thank you very much, sir. There you go. What? One bag. One bag. Sorry, it's two bags for the day. All right. Just to show you, it's not rigged and just going to be yellow. I'm just going to do it again. Just in case that people, for some reason, think it's rigged, because we had already had one guy say it's rigged. If we have, if it comes up yellow again, if it comes up yellow again, I'm gonna be. Screwing. There you go, green. That that would have been a stubby cooler and a hat. There you go. There you go. Cool. Yeah. We're back. Yeah. About... There you go. I love that. All right. <laughs> Could you hear? Yes. It in the, yeah. Uh... yeah. It was good. Yeah. It was good. Mm. That was really weird because, yeah, I was looking at the comments and I saw Bill's come up like ages ago and I didn't see any of him spamming the new one. But, and then they've all just appeared for me. What is happening with Facebook? I don't I, I seriously, I none of my comments are where I haven't, I'm totally blind all night and I don't like it. I like being able to see people. So, so uh, Tim, do you want to message Bill and uh, organize that? Uh, and, uh, yeah, that'll be good. Congratulations. Hey, so, Bill, you're going to have to message me. Hmm. I can't, yeah. access, I can't access profile. Oh, there Message we go. There we him. Yeah. Yes. So um, we'll be doing this on the next Man Talk. If, um, I reckon if we don't give away anything more than just a regular man bag, we'll increase uh, like one bag. Man take, we will increase yes. the odds. We will change change it so yes. there's more jackpots on there. We would so I might add, get some Velcro. I might add a more color get some jackpots. Velcro and just... No, nah, just change the color coding. Just change the color coding. It's ah, well... If you want to do that, if you want to do it the easy way, I guess we can. Well, well, we, need, um, we need a topic <laughs> for next we do. episode. Come as on, well. chat. Piece of engineering. What's, uh, what's, what do you want to you talk guys, about next week? You guys have actually smashed it. Ash has done that wheel, and it's freaking fantastic. Tim's already put an order in for one. Lloyd's been smashing the intros. Me and Tim have done a uh, sweet FA, really, this week. But, hey. Uh, we play. We we play video. We got games. killed by spiders over and over again. Oh my god, that was Ooh. that game is amazing. If you're out there, chat. Uh, play grounded. It is brutal. It looks like honey, I'm trying to kids, but it will fuck you up. I swear to God, that is brutal. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> someone said discipline in your man check journey. I think that's a good topic. Yeah. Thank you, Jade. Thank you, Jade, for commenting on my coloured LED lights. That was like literally last minute kind of shit. So thank you very much. Go. I'm glad you like. There you go. There you go. There you go. A little pat on, little pat on the back from Jade. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah, it's, it's high it's praise brilliant. from Jade too. He's a legend. It's high praise. It's high praise That's indeed. Um, discipline. Is that what we're going to do? I'm, I'm down for discipline. I'm yeah. all about discipline. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll do that. I never do that again. <laughs> Once again, that, that that is the word on the street. That is the word. Oh, geez, this is this is just devolved into filth. Hey, Lloyd, can I make a request for a song one day? Yeah. Can you do the da the cover of the Danger Mouse theme? <laughs> Maybe. What are you? Can you do Samurai Pizza Cats? Can you do a? Oh. 
We need to, we need to chat with Lloyd. You need to get in contact with uh, Lara with the bird, and you guys need to do some piano and guitar like eighties, nineties sitcom mashup. We'll we'll organise that. We're pretty famous. Oh, nice. We'll organise that. Okay, here we go. Here's, here's one. Jerk, copy paste. Techniques and tricks to keep on track from Dean Med, Dean Medino. So I like that one. We're going to keep. We're going to do that. Okay. One. I like that. Cool. Tips, yeah? do a few. Tips and tricks. We can do a couple. Cool. Yeah, it sounds good. We can do one. All right. I'll put it in the uh, the our private message group, our elite private message group. Uh, now, can one of you guys put that in there? I can't get access to that at the moment. Thank you, boys. Christian Caracas. No, Christian no, Caracas no, is um, yes. being shy and uh, taking your shirt off in the public like a beach or pool. Mate. <laughs> I still don't get Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to... I put photos up, or like weight loss comparison photos, but like uh, that's still something that's really big for me too. I put up, I put up that photo on my excess skin uh, episode in my beginner's guide, and I thought it was important to put it up. So that's that was me, a uh, bear. I had, I had my like, little boy short, freaking undies, whatever you call them. I don't know what you call them. And that was me. That's the only time I've ever done any of that. And... and it took a, it did take a lot seriously. It took a lot for me to put that up, but even at Christmas when I thought I'm looking good, I'm looking good. Even with my shirt off around the pool, I still felt mm. like from maybe like here up, it's not bad, but like from you know sort of diaphragm down, it's still pudgy and yeah, it is what it is. It takes a, it takes a little while, but like once you get like you know because I'm alright with taking my shirt off. Even when I was at my fattest, I was okay with that. Uh, for the longest time, for like 31 years of my life, I'm 32. I was not okay with that. But then I was just like, you know what? I, I wanted to swim some laps at uh, a local leisure center and I would have looked fucking ridiculous if I was in there with a rash top or something like that because it's all indoors. I thought, there's, like, you know, there's old blokes here with their kid off and they got beer guts the size of, you know. It was know, never, like, never about beer guts beer for me. Guts. It was about stretch marks for me, mm -hmm. like, honestly. Like, oh, for I got, me... I got the tiger mark. For me, like, it's... For me, that was the biggest thing. I once, when I was uh, a few years ago, before I really, I think before I had kids, my niece said to me, "What are those?" When I had my shirt off once, and that was one of the lowest points that I've ever had, and I just felt ashamed of myself. I really felt ashamed. So uh, I'm slowly getting out of that. I think as you lose, like I've completely lost me. I, you can see the scars and stuff, but they've completely changed. So if you're big out there and you're losing weight. They will disappear. They will still be there, but they will disappear somewhat. So that's something to look forward to if you've got them and you find them embarrassing like I did. So that's a good point. Well, well, like, yeah, as Ryan said, Ryan Betson in the chat, he goes, yeah, you could be like Asher just whipping his shirt off in streams. I actually had someone challenge me last night, one of my live streams on my YouTube channel to just do, do it with my shirt off, like Bert Kirshner. And I did. And uh, I was like, I can't believe I'm actually doing this live streaming. Never could I. Live. I saw it live. I thought, what is he doing, the madman? Just off the shirt. <laughs> madman. Hey, but look, you know, you, there's, you, you give the people what they want. You know, you give the people. He'll, what they he'll do it. <laughs> he'll do anything for views, chat. He'll just get. He'll get I the just, shirt I just off. Whipped up a, Hey, Ash, for Ash I'm pretty sure that um, I saw uh, that fat guy OnlyFans set up the other day. Is that was that you? Well, yeah, I, I was going to subscribe to it, but I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, well, believe it or not, I've had YouTube, which I have a YouTube channel, that back on. Oh, wow. um, they actually sent me they actually sent me a, a, a message in an email today saying that I've been approved. Um, I didn't know I applied, but uh, to have membership on my channel. So that's something I'm toying with the thoughts of. So that's uh, something. What, is, what is that? But, what does um, it get you? Do you know? Well, like some of the some of the bigger channels, like um, like you know, uh, like PewDiePie and all those guys, they have um, like a membership where you can join, pay like kind of like Twitch, pay like a monthly mm -hmm. subscription kind of thing, and it extra gives stuff. you like these added yeah. benefits, yeah, extra stuff. So whether it be like members only fees, okay. members only videos, member only posts, and that kind of stuff, it gives you more opportunity to, communi uh, to communicate. Is it like a Patreon? Yeah, is that what it is? Like a Patreon sort of deal? I, I'm not okay. sure, but it's it's, it's fairly new. But the, it's mainly it, it isn't really common for a small channel. Like I've that. never seen that you on know, YouTube, yeah. to be honest. And not that I'm not that I'm. I watch, well, you if, know, like. But. If you ever go to a YouTube channel and it says subscribe, and next to subscribe it says join. Oh, okay. Yeah, click click that, and you'll see like you know the members. Benefits oh, and that okay, that's interesting. Oh, there you yeah. go. Ash is becoming the care model. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the, the, it was a na- it was a natural uh, evolution. <laughs> to be honest, it was always going to happen. We'll have a look at him. Weight loss journey to cam model to OnlyFans. That's, that's, that's pretty it. much how it goes. Hey, <laughs> so he, we'll be he, he loves us all, and there's nothing we can do about it. He loves us, people. <laughs> no, there, there is absolutely That's nothing it. you can do. Honestly, you could, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's not that um, that you know parent love, but it's pretty damn close. It's pretty damn close. Like you can lose my love. You can. <laughs> you lose can it. lose it. Oh, <laughs> be be careful you out there, chat. Be careful. You can lose it. As you can see, guys, I'm not a streamer of any sort, so uh, I've always got to fight. Actually, these guys. actually, someone we... someone just called me the silent Bob of the man talk. <laughs> uh, actually, I can. So, uh, I've got. I'll give. I'll give props I've got your. Uh, you did, in all honesty, you did um, a cover of uh, Mad World last week. Have you done another one since then, Lloyd? I haven't actually caught right up with that. Uh, no. So Mad World was the week before. Okay. I did um, take on me. Which I might even do tonight. Let me... Oh, okay. I was going to see if I could find it on my little thing here. Let me see if I can find it. Chat amongst yourself, boys. Hey, Lloyd, Lloyd, just take a look at our super secret messenger chat. Just let us know. Um, uh, so, yeah, Joe, tell us about the Broncos. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> let's, let's go to the more important issue at hand. Come on, you gunners. FA Cup number 14, baby. It was worth staying up to 4 a.m. the other night. I got a... So hang on, number 14th, FA Cup, mate. We've won 10% Is of that... the FA Cups. 10% of them, we've oh, won. Okay. There you go. Right. We're... I thought you said they came 14th. I was no, like, why are we still we came 8th <laughs> in the league. Uh, but we got the FA Cup. <laughs> it's the biggest trophy in Europe. Everyone knows that. No, is, it, is it the biggest trophy? No, it's, 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 it's the biggest, like, domestic. Oh, no, the, the Premier League's the biggest. Oh. It's what it, basically the FA Cup, if anyone's That's interested out there, like, say someone like a local team, like a feeder club, like in... Six division in the middle of nowhere can play against, say, like Man United, and they can win and they can get up there. That's it's one of those Cinderella story sort of things. That's why we won. We're the Cinderella story. We're shit. We won. Anyway, uh, that's it. Keep talking. I'm going to try and find Lloyd's thing, unless he's just going to give us the live thing. Oh no, I can do it this way. Don't worry. Keep talking. <laughs> Mate, it's creepy when you look straight in the camera. So we can do it this. Just way. keep talking. <laughs> just keep talking. <laughs> Straight down. Uh, how important is sleep in the man check, Jenny? Fuck me, I don't know. I don't feel like I've sleep. had a good night's sleep. I sleeping, years. Sleeping's the one thing that I have not changed, and I will finish the stream at 2 o'clock in the morning, and then I'll be up at 7 with the kids. Sleeping is one of my things that I have uh, not changed at all. See, with me, if I, if I did a stream and finished at 2 in the morning, I wouldn't get up until 9, 10 nah. o'clock. I just, I, I yeah, just run on. I'm always tired. Someone said to me the other day, how, how do you run on sleep? I said, oh, I'm, I'm very, <laughs> yeah, I run on minimal sleep. I've always run on minimal sleep, though. I think after you have kids... You your sleep just deteriorates. I could it? never nap. Like I could never nap on the lounge for like an hour. I'd used to have at least have four hours because I'd wake up feeling like I was hungover. Now I can have a seriously a ten minute nap and I feel like let's go. The twins do that to you. I don't know how you do that, Joe, because like when I was at my fattest, yeah. like you know, I was tired throughout yeah. the day because I had destructive sleep apnea like a like a bitch. And like if if I was just on the couch, yeah. I would get super mm. sleepy and I'd just want to fall asleep. Does anyone out there in the chat feel the same way? Uh, I'm always like... tired. I'm always tired. I feel like I'm always tired, and it just it drives oh. me nuts. Um, Ash, sorry, Jimmy, sorry, boys. Sorry, boys. Um, this is Lloyd's. <laughs> Lloyd, Jack can hear it. This is Lloyd's colour from this week. Let's just sit here and look awkward at our cameras, then. <laughs> just pretend we're swimming. Guess I'm cool, Lloyd. It's, it's haunting. I told you, he's hauntingly beautiful. Yo, Jerd's stream, like every night, because he's a late night streamer, I turn it on and seriously, I've never wanted to sleep. So I've never had such good sleeps in my life, honestly. Like... I, I do. It's like, it's like Jerd streams everything. Oh, hey, guys, I'm going to the toilet. Live stream. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna go and I'm, count my collection of bombs. I'm giving to people what Live they stream. want. Hey, and I get people in for it. There you go. I don't get people He's in. Big for in it. I'm, I'm, He's big in the huge. UK. I'm huge. Hey, hold on. Where is it? There we go. Oh look. God, here we go. There you go. Look. Yeah. Huge in the UK, baby. Cheated by UK crowd out there. Uh, I love the chroma key. Yeah, it's I dodgy it. as shit. Yeah, I was gonna say. Dodgy as shit. Yeah. I've actually, I actually got some shelves. I'm in my new studio. I got some shelves put up. And got some LED lights, but it's not centered, so it's not behind me. So I don't bother with it. You got a fucking green screen there. Like, it's 
we can't we don't even see the shelves is there shelves no i had i was gonna do that on camera oh fuck's sake ash you oh. are just a pain in the fucking <laughs> ass <laughs> you're pain in my ass non-stop yeah i mean honestly like get a real room like look i've got a real room yeah. you 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 people get a real i painted room. on stream you saw it i painted it tim um, oh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 look, I saw all of it. I wasn't asleep at oh, all. Hey, shut up. Here we go. Look, look, look. Hey. hey. Got some, I even got the little LED lights with all my pops in there. There you go. Anyway. Oh, look at that. Pretty good. No, it's good. I like it. I don't have to be so quiet for the so, kids um, anymore. It's perfect. That's good. Cool. So, uh, Judd, uh, I've been speaking to the other guys on our super secret chat that you can't see because you are the king dingling that's uh, organizing all this, but. I'm feeling pretty generous tonight. Should we do another wheel spin? Oh, what do you think? why yeah. the fuck not? That's what yeah. I say. Have we got a actually, have we got a actually, I've got a good sound for that, and you boys need to be quiet because this is what we're doing. We'll do it live. Fuck it. There we go. We're doing it live. Okay. What are we doing? We, a question. We need a question. Yep. Um, we, need a, we need a question for chat. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Let's see. Oh, we could do um, the the one we were talking about beforehand about the certain person. No. I don't no. think we should. I don't. Think, I don't uh, think we should do that one. Tim, is that a spider on your pink wall? Fuck. <laughs> he loves the spider. <laughs> he loves the spider. Chat did that to me he... the other night. They were like, "There's a spider on your wall." When I was playing grounded, I'm... and I was like, "Are you serious, chat?" And they're like, "Yeah, there's one behind you." And I was like. Really yeah. freaking out that they were serious. Tim's, like, Tim's whole stream, I was playing with him. His whole stream was just him going, bah, bah, bah. that was so good. I loved it. Um, all right, what do we got? A question. Let's think of a question for chat. Um, yes, actually, back to Movember. Who's saying that? Who's doing Movember? Lloyd's doing it. I know Lloyd's locked in for Movember. Uh, I know Tim's locked in. Ash, you're locked in. Everyone's locked in. I'll We're all locked in. Oh, yeah, apparently. Yep. Easy. Um, I'll do I, uh, it. Yeah, I mean, if I have to, if I have to spend like a month fighting the women off me, then that's fine. I can do that. It'd, it'd, it'd take you all of about thirty yeah. seconds to shave your facial hair, Tim. Oh. Oh. I, I go to the barber. <laughs> like, thank you very much. I'm, I will organise a Jim's mowing to come around <laughs> and cancel all their bookings for a week. <laughs> <laughs> to, so I'll get a quote this week for full full uh, full makeover from Jim's mowing. If there's any yeah. boys out there, um, and this is not a plug, this this is a plug, but it's for charity. I'm doing Movember. My community's doing Movember. I'm going to try and get a lot of the boys involved. If you're in chat and you're interested, please uh, hit me up in a private message or something. Um, we'll go to Movember, the website, um, and search Jerdville, and you'll find it there. Join in and help raise some charity. It's for prostate cancer, men's mental health. It's not till November. We've got time. I'm going to live stream, because I live stream everything, the uh, beard shave. So it's a serious issue, and... Um, if you're going to do it anyway, you might as well join the team and let's raise some decent money for important issues out there that affect all of us, really. Just, so, yes. All right. So, I, all right. I just, sorry, quickly, Ash. I just sent you a link, Jed, of a Twitch clip from the other night oh, okay. that you can probably show to chat. Okay. Um, and just quickly, while you were talking about the charity streams, I'm going to plug mine as well. 18th and 19th of August, I will be doing a 24 hour charity stream for the Starlight Children's you're Foundation. Insane. I'm going to have prizes from Logitech, Thermaltake, Ubisoft Australia, Xbox ANZ, possibly NVIDIA, and and from Legion Energy and maybe the Manshake as well. So I'll be giving away a shit ton of stuff and trying to raise about $2,000 for the Starlight Children's Foundation. Wow. So if you've got some spare time on those two days, starting from 10 a.m. to 10, p, uh, 10 a.m. or the 10 a.m. on the 18th to 10 a.m. on the 19th, please drop by and uh, and just support. I would much I'm sorry it. if you've said it, but what are you playing? Oh, sorry, I was doing stuff. What what are you playing? I, I don't know what I'm playing as of yet, okay. but yeah, uh, I, it'll be a mixture of All games. right, well, let me know if you would like uh, some company in some of those games, and I'm happy to come in for uh, and join you for a little bit. So let me know. Sure. Absolutely. You know. Yep. All right, boys. Well, I reckon All I've right, got a so question for uh, for the people that have hung around. Thank you. So the question will be. Wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's, let's wait. do this properly. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do another draw of the uh, spin the wheel, kind of win the prize thing. Right. Just so everyone knows what this question is about, just in case you weren't listening a moment ago. So Lloyd is going to ask us a question. 
for your chance to spin the wheel and win another prize. We are feeling generous tonight. We got the go ahead from Adam McDougall. He said, "Yeah, boys, do it." So we're going to do it. So, um, <laughs> Lloyd, mate, go ahead. Ask your question. All right. The question is, what colour shirt was I wearing in my child pose photo? Ooh, I think the one with the eyebrows. I think I can remember that. The one with the Where eyebrows. Where is it? Let me. Let me. The what colour shirt was I wearing? Okay, I've got it here. Don't no, I'm not putting it up yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fucking amateur, all right? I'm fucking sorry. Are you, are you sure? Are you sure? Get, How's that ball sweat from get there? Get back <laughs> in your fucking box. <laughs> if you don't remember what the color, just put random colors in, people. Guess it. I'm putting it up. If I haven't guessed it by now, I'm putting it up. Oh, we've got a window. Rando. Rando's up. Rando. A B Hawk. B Hawk. Get in there, B Hawk. Well done, mate. Oh. Right. What color did he say? Is that is that it? salmon? What color is that? That's oh, pink. Pink's, pink's uh, pretty close. Real men wear pink. Oh, let's call it pink. Oh. Hold on, but let's get. Hold on, so, let's get a wheel cam. Hold on. I don't know why in that picture you don't have just women hanging off your arms. I oh, know, right? right. Oh, like hold on, day hold day. on, Ash. Let me find some. Let me find some dodgy music. Hold on. Let me go. Uh, let's do. We're, we're doing it live. Let's do that. Oh, James Richards, mate. If you're only a little bit quicker, and Stephen Ted Hall, if you're a little bit quicker. Oh, uh, there's always someone in the hockey. chat who has to argue about the color. It's it, it's off. It's 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 uh, James. You know. Salmon, salmon. No. It's pink. Look, it's Lloyd's shirt. He called it pink. That's it. Done. I can't. I yeah. can't find that. Uh, puce, puce. What is puce? <laughs> puce. Use. It's, this is uh, what happens when you yeah. uh, it's after, like you're playing tennis and it's after yeah. thirty. Uh, I believe it's I believe it's Gary <laughs> Gary Pusey. <laughs> Zinger shake. Zinger shake. Here we go. Okay, we, I've got I've got music. You guys can't hear it, but check and hear it. Let's go. Spin it. Yeah, spin it. Got the lights. If it's a yellow again, we're respinning. Good call. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, that was so close, close, man. So you know what? close. Stubby cool. If I was on the man shake, I would actually really want a stubby cooler and have. Like if I was and I didn't have it, which you know. They're pretty sweet. <laughs> Aggressive salmon. That's that's the best name for a band <laughs> Aggressive ever. Aggressive salmon. Love it. Yeah. Stubby cooler and hat. There you go. So you, Perfect. You, you've won these, my man. You can't buy these from. Look, how good's that? There you, <laughs> there you go. You can't actually buy these from um, the website, believe it or not. So um, they're. I know. Because I tried to find a photo of it and I couldn't. I had to put them on the bench and then do the old crop, crop, crop and boop. There you go. Magic. Hey, you've done well, That's Jared. it, magic. You've done well. The theatre restaurant of the mind. <laughs> Congratu congratulations, Brando. Um, uh, Tim will message you to. Oh, uh, Jesus you know, Christ. Mate, you, you're putting you in charge. I had to do the last one and it was just a nightmare. Another hat for Brando. That's two hats you got this week, Brando. Hey, hey, yo. There we go. Two hats. What, two? Oh, did he get He, he bought one of mine. He's a legend. Oh, there we go. I, I know which hat he's going to wear more. Probably, probably a man shake, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> mine was a meme. But in reality, dreams can come true out there, chat. There you go. All right, that's it. So we're next week, what are we doing next week? Did we say, Lloyd? Did we work out what we're doing next week? Tips and tricks? Uh, yeah, there was a couple of, uh, yeah. So On two weeks, sorry, two weeks. Tips and tricks, yep. yeah. Um, geez, I can't even remember okay. off the top of my head now. We'll have to go back through. Go but, back through uh, yeah. Cool. Brando, that these hats are made. The these big. hats are made for the. Oh, he's so heads. worried about the hat so, size every time. Yeah. Brando. Ten, ten gallon They'll head. fit your noggin, Brando. Yeah. They'll fit it. It's the one I, I always wear that hat when I stream. It's the man shake one backwards. That's the one I always wear. It fits your big fucking head. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. If it fits my head, it'll fit your head. It'll fit your head. Honestly. It fits, if, look, it fits Lloyd's. Lloyd. Don't put Tim in charge of prizes. Oh, Shut up, Shane. Oh, you're the size of this Oh, poor Beezy. Oh, detect, Detective and, Beezy. And because, of, and because of the delay, I added an extra bag of shades. Oh, so. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Beezy, what a racket. You're running, well, Beezy. Jesus. I'm sorry, Shane, that my mum was sick. God. Actually, Ugh. in fairness, in, in fairness, Beezy did say to me quite often, have you chatted to Tim yet, Jordan? I'm like, no, I haven't. I'm sorry, <laughs> mate. I'm sorry I haven't. <laughs> no, it's uh, all good. It's all good. I'm I still, I'm still I picking up bits of minced up zinger. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Um, so, look, um, we will be doing uh, the prize wheel. If you guys had fun with the prize wheel, we had fun with the prize wheel. We will be doing it uh, on Man Talks moving forward. It mightn't always be three. It might be less. Uh, you know, and depending on what kind of prizes we give away, we might up the odds and give you more opportunity to win the ultimate weight loss pack. Depends. Um, hope... depends, yeah, depends on how many viewers we have, how many people share, how many people like, how many people subscribe yeah, exactly. to, our, to our Twitch channels with their with their Amazon Prime. Yes. I mean, what? Sorry, yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. We're not taking cash for prizes. I didn't say any. That was not plugs for me. I didn't say. I'm, I've been very careful this week. I don't want to get in trouble again. Everyone just. We got off chat last week. We got off the man talk last week, and I just copped nothing but abuse from these three bastards here. Non-stop, they've been into me for two weeks, so I've been very quiet. Well, to, to be fair... Oh, don't I mean, start. Like, That's enough. Leave it like that. <laughs> All right. So I got, I got a message from... And I'm, just, I'm not going to mention names here. here. I'm just going to say JR, right? He goes, hey, mate. Hey, mate, I saw you. We're talking about the Zinger Shake. I missed the man talk on the Man Shake page. Is there a recipe we can try this, please? Oh, um, why would you <laughs> want was it? No, no, I, I think, I think he must have thought that we came up with a recipe for like a man shake flavored oh. zinger shake, which Lloyd, tasted like zinger. Lloyd, you need to do. It is very much not. Lloyd true. needs to do a savory is... shake. You can, you could find out those herbs and spices, yeah. Lloyd. You're a master craftsman. You got the palate. I could, I could yeah. do something. Yeah. You should try it. You should try. You should try. Mm. But JR, mate, if you um, are still watching this, uh, it was an actual Zinger burger blended up with uh, gravy from KFC and hot water. All the <laughs> things you need to sustain you. <laughs> it was pretty a pretty nice. Minus, a minus one star. Did you put rating, any honestly, man shake in that? You should have put some man shake in that. Get fucked. You have put some vanilla in. It would have been all right. It would have been good. But look, if that didn't earn me a few subscribers, like if you are on YouTube, <laughs> mate, Go oh. down, search that fat guy, that fat guy, and subscribe to the channel, please. I'm, I'm not a filthy whore. Just... I'm not. He will sue you, though. <laughs> Lloyd, what are you plugging? Lloyd, you got anything to plug, mate? No. Nah. No? Nah? Nothing. No. Nah. All right. I got nothing. You got nothing. Wear your masks. Victoria. Wear your masks, and don't go out after 8 o'clock. Turn into a gremlin. Don't go out no, after 8 o'clock. Yeah. Man. In, We're all in this we together. Are, that's the thing. <sighs> Let's let's talk serious for a second. Let's not get too political with everything. But oh, no, I'm just saying it's a general. No, no, no I agree. It's with a general. Yeah. Have some courtesy, common courtesy and decency for your fellow humans out there. If you're going to blow your nose into a hanky like someone did at my work today, not naming names, and then proceed to put the hanky in your pocket and give me your cash, no, I got the I got the sanitizer out and went here. Give me your hands, mate. And he's like, what? I said, you just blew your nose and you're going to give me cash. So. Have some respect for your it's, fellow humans, please. Stop the spread. It is, yeah. it is really easy for people to look at statistics when you look at cases and you look at the more, the fatality rate. It's really easy for people to say, "Oh, well, it's only one point two percent, or it's only one point three percent." That's no, you know, no reason to shut down everything. First of all, human life is precious, no matter whether it's one or a hundred. So let's let's move past that. Second of all, it's be behind that one person's like, you know, uh, unfortunately passing away. There are health workers, there are contract, tra uh, con uh, sorry, uh, contact tracers, there are nurses, there are doctors, there are, you know, uh, ambulance uh, uh, operators, defense force members, police. There are so many people that have a workload that keeps expanding. Whenever one person is diagnosed or is a test positive, like that just because it's not a choice between you get sick or you die. It's you can get extremely sick and not die, but you still have to be looked after. Mm. So the problem here is we can't, our health system cannot cope with thousands of cases because out of those thousands of cases, yeah, 50% might not show symptoms. 50% might end up in the ICU and in hospital and beds are going to run out really quick. So you can't just look at a, a fatality rate and think, you know, it's not that bad when the amount of people that are required to look after a sick person is huge. Like resources are finite. The, you know, and when healthcare workers are getting sick mm. too, that's even worse. Mm. Like you've just, you've got to realize that as much as it sucks, the uh, the alternative is much worse, is much, much worse. I, um, yeah, I'm not going to name, Tim, you've absolutely I'm it. not going to name yeah. names, but I had a, a few private messages with someone uh, over the last week who is in the medical field and had to 
uh, quarantine themselves because they were in contact. And just the sheer um, mental game that played on this person, uh, I'm thinking of you out there. I'm glad that you you were no longer in isolation and keep fighting a good fight out there because you are on the front lines doing helping everyone out there. So I'm thinking of you. I'm not going to name names, but I'm thinking of you and I wish you all the best and back on track. Keep shaking, my friend. And, and, and another thing, just quickly, if you think about it, 13 people died today and 13 of those people, those 13 people were aged over 70. Mm. That's someone's grandmother. Mm. That's someone's, you know, a grandfather. Just think about how many people are in your family in your, and if your grandmother passed away, how many people will that affect? And then times that by 13 and that's how many people are mourning yeah. today alone. So, so That's 13 people, <laughs> more people than would have, that, you know, would still be alive today if it wasn't for this virus. And, you know, like you, you only have to look around at like those two fucking idiot girls that uh, went around uh, Queensland. It's just absolute stupidity. And, yeah. uh, like yeah, I'm I'm not gonna play it up at all. But you you really like I honestly believe that you've just got to remember that we are in the middle of a pandemic. And yes, you want your life to go back to normality, but it's not going to be normal for a while. And the more that we do now to help encourage like this to kind of all fizzle mm -hmm. out, the better off we're going to be. Otherwise, we're just going to keep going back into lockdown after lockdown after lockdown after lockdown. And it's just yeah, it, it, we don't want that. Businesses are suffering. People's lives are on hold. Um, you know, you can't travel. We want this to go back to normal to normality. Just do the right yeah. thing. Wear a mask. Absolutely. Keep your hands clean. Yeah. Leave your families at home. Yeah, you don't you need. need to go grocery everyone shopping. doesn't need to go out. You don't need to take your no. kids. You know, like, yeah. But look, anyway. And and if, if a health if if a healthcare worker can turn up to work fully dressed in PPE and look after eight people who are sick with coronavirus, you can wear a fucking yeah, mask. Exactly. And I had someone ask me today, and, and, and I, it, I had to hold the rage in. They said, basically, that it's a hoax, and do you know anyone affected by it? And I know sort of two people that were affected by it, but I just felt like saying, my father has passed away, so I could probably say this um, and not jinx myself or whatever. I, felt like, I just felt like saying to them, yes, my father passed away from it. And just to see their face, think about people. You don't know their story. If, you, if you're out there and you think it's a hoax and you ask someone that question, the answer you get back could... Oh, I just it just infuriated me. I thought if someone, if I was a hospitality worker and I had lost someone to that, and you asking me to my face how I've been affected by it, you could just shatter someone. Like, please have some common yeah. courtesy for your fellow humans out there. That's it. I, I'd also just like to point out quickly. I think this is the very first time for a man check episode we have passed or are about to pass the one thousand comments oh. mark. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, spam the chat. Here we go. Uh, go past a thousand. Get ready, comments. boys. Get, Just say whatever. Get ready, you want. boys. Ready? <laughs> hey, everybody. We're all going to get late. Yes. Do there it. we go. <laughs> did you just spot or something? I did a bit of Rodney Dangerfield, Ash. <laughs> did a bit of Rodney Dangerfield for you, buddy. Oh, yeah, nice, there you go. Nice, Got that. Nice, nice. Yeah. Love well done, chat. Well done, yeah. chat. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in and hanging out with us, even though I can't see your comments. Thank you so much, guys. It's, yeah. you, you guys are the biggest part it, of this it, as us. So thank you for hanging out with us. Appreciate you being here. If you are still here, just make sure you also smash that like button and you also hit that subscribe button on YouTube for all of us and uh, Twitch stuff and all of that. But uh, I think it's about time for a uh, song from Perfect. the songbird of our generation. Perfect. Well, I was going to play uh, talk, uh, Take On Me, but uh, Jed Man's already played it. So oh, he's stolen your thunder. Jed! He did. Do it. Oh. I want to hear it. I actually want to hear it because we didn't hear it. Like Tim and I didn't hear it when I was playing All with right. it. So we would like to hear it. Uh, I am a I'm a car uh, revved in nines, boys. Calm down. Uh, we're not at we're not at one thousand. <laughs> we need forty more comments to get past a past a thousand. Right. So we want you cheering on Lloyd. Go for it, lads. Oh, I've got to change his. I've got to change his uh, logo. Put some put some song suggestions there, guys. I need to learn some. Uh, I need some inspiration for some new covers. And just remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're still doing those wheels next week. you shy away 
I'll be coming for your love on care Take on me And take me on And I'll be gone In a day or two YouTube, guys. Goosebumps, absolute Ooh. goosebumps. That Talented is insane. Just... The words. So I, hate, I hate people with talent. <laughs> I disgrace in, in the words of in the words of Ryan Betson, aren't talented people just the worst? The worst. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in I'm sorry, guys. in semi so sorry. in semi musical news, we got a P and Ola this week, and I tell you what, uh, if any of you out there have used one of those, you put the scroll in and then you use the little pedals. You don't need an exercise bike for one of those things. I. People in the 1900s and that must have been had calves and thighs of steel because that thing is a workout. My legs are still sore from it. That's the only musical talent I have. I can use a pedal to make music with a piano. That's it. There we go. 1,004 comments. <laughs> Lloyd, Woo! you got us there, Lloyd. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. That's, that's a GG record. GG chat. GG. Thank you so much. GG. GG. All right, that's it. We're done. Anything else, boys? That's, that's it. it. Till next uh, time. I love you all, and there's nothing you can do. About uh, it. Thank you for being a friend. That's my catchphrase. We got one. You got a catchphrase, Lou? No, no catchphrases here. Oh, well, that's piss poor. What about you, Tim? You got a catchphrase? <laughs> next, stay, next fortnight. Stay chilled. Ooh, stay chilled. Stay chilled. Oh, well, there you go. Stay chilled, people. Uh, that's it. Uh, back in two weeks on the what will that be? That will be the seventeenth. Uh, of the eighth, we're going to do a bunch of different topics. Chat to any of us on our socials. Let us know. Uh, if there's anything else you want us to tackle, uh, we're we're open books here. We're just we're one of you people, so we're open books. Um, yeah. Hit us up. Let us know what you did like, what you didn't like. Uh, if you want less plugs, more plugs. We're happy to do whatever. <laughs> you want more songs? And I, I, I nominate Jared for the next food challenge. Okay. We're, can I do the Neapolitan Soda Stream thing? <laughs> Why not? What do you what do you, what do you want send, me to do? Send us uh, send us your. What do you want challenge? me to do, Ash? What, what idea? You think of an idea now, and I'll do it. It can't be like grow. I don't, I don't do gross food. Like it can, it can be weird food, I reckon, but I can't do gross food. I reckon I, I'm just going to chuck it out there. The 17th is when we'll be doing our next podcast. Mm. So maybe, seeing as I'm doing the 24 hour stream the very next day, maybe we can kick things off a little bit early. Maybe do a couple of giveaways that aren't man check related. And I think that we should consider suiting up. Ooh. What do you guys think? I've a got a suit. suit. I've got a I've got a yeah. I've got a suit, but it's not it's not Power Ranger suit, but I have a suit. And I'm I'm talking let's 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 dress oh, up. Oh we're gonna dress let's up. Dress up. Let's I don't own here. let's dress up. Tim, I, I'll see what I don't I'm own wearing. any suits because mine are all like they were too small and now they're like Backlash. Yeah, I haven't bought I wanna buy a nice suit. That's the one thing I wanna do. I've got a friend's wedding in November next year and I wanna buy a nice suit, but so it, it doesn't even have to be a suit, maybe just a shirt. Okay, we can do that. I can do that. Shirt tie. Let's go a little bit. Stay classy. We can stay classy. Yeah. Hey. Absolutely. Ash will come with no shirt. Just a boat. Just a tie. Painted, painted no, no, dude. We, we want to get oh, people sorry. to watch. We don't want to no, lose. I just thought you could go oh, Chippendales. No, 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 no shirt no, and a tie. No, we'll go, oh, and no a tie. Shirt, but a tie. Yeah. No shirt. A bow tie. Yeah. Yeah. Mickey, Mickey Mouse bow tie. Oh, we'll get... We'll get... It'll turn into uh, the, the lady talk. Man, that we so women. <laughs> 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 You'll look like a contestant from Man O' oh Man. Man O' oh Man. <laughs> oh, I love that show. It was so good. Push me in the, push me in the pool. That's it. All right. Um, we're going to dress up. We're going to suit up. Okay. Okay. Oh, I've got a Duff Man suit. I was going to wear that. Duff Man can't breathe. Anyway. Okay. That's it. All right. Uh, see you later. Thanks again, guys. in two weeks. Uh, hit us up on our socials. Yourself, That's it. Marble's on stream after this if you want to come in. That's it. See you later. Thanks for hanging out. See you later, all guys. Right. Thank you. We all love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Ash especially. There you go. Yeah. Stay chill. Stay chill.